Hello, and welcome to Dice Friends. This is episode one of Trouble in Paradise using the Paranoia Red Clearance Rules from Mongoose Games. My name's Dale Friesen. I'm going to be the Game Master. We'll get started in just a moment with an explanation of the setting, but first we're going to introduce around the table. Kathleen? Hi, I'm Kathleen. I am playing Kennedy R. NHL 1. I'm a... I'm a I'm the team leader of some troubleshooters, and I'm just thrilled to be here. It's going to be great. Go team. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Ira RTUV1, and I am excited to set things right here within our little home. Um, I will be the science officer for you today, and thankfully, that's exactly where I need to be. I'm Brendan Beege Deary, and I'll be playing Blake R L W W one. Uh, I'm a perfectly normal human being, as you can tell. Uh, I just moved into this sector, and I'm being assigned uh, as an equipment officer for somebody's team. I don't know who's yet. Hi, my name is Jacob Burgess, and I'll be playing Jordan R E A A one, also known as Nibbles. I'll be your happiness officer, and I hope everybody is very happy today. <laughs> <laughs> happiness is mandatory. So, I want to tell you a little bit about Alpha Complex, where we're set, before we start the game itself. It's a very long time in the future, bad things have happened, there are not very many humans left alive, but those that are alive, such as these fine people here, are living in paradise. It is a complete utopia, it is the best it can possibly be. And you know that it's the best it can possibly be, because the computer that runs everything has told this to you, and only a traitor would contradict the computer. Now. These are clones who have five spare bodies. You'll notice that their names have four components, their personal name, their security clearance, which I'll get to in a moment, their three-letter uh, home sector, and a number, which is the body number that they're on. They have six bodies given to them by the computer. Uh, that's probably irrelevant information. I'm sure it'll just be a one there forever. Um, but in case it matters, their memories are stored in their cybernetic implants called their cerebral core tech. And it keeps things uploaded in real time to the cloud so that if, for whatever reason, they need their new body, the memories can be downloaded, they carry on, off they go pretty much right away. Uh, speaking of cybernetics, they also have cybernetic eyeballs. Uh, these give your characters a heads-up display, so you never have to learn anyone's names. Because you look at them, and then above their name it says Ira RTUV1. Um, as troubleshooters, you also can see the number of treason stars they have. For example, these two folks have two treason stars. Once you get to five treason stars, everybody can see them, and there's a bounty on your head. But you probably don't need that information either. Um, nah. Why would that come up? No. Nah. No. You uh, are in these clones. These are adult clones that haven't gone through puberty because the computer heard about what puberty was, thought it was terrible, and decided that nobody had to go through that. Once you're green clearance, you can consent to puberty and go through it optionally, but nobody has to. Um, the reason I talked about green clearance is because the security clearances are color. About 70% of the population is infrared. It's kind of the, the lowest human security clearance, and then it goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, ultraviolet. There are uh, maybe 10 or 12 ultraviolets total. The only way you become an ultraviolet is one dies. Uh, these four have all been promoted to red, which is great. They are the lowest of the high. Uh, so congratulations on that. Um, Thank you. Woo, middle class. <laughs> <laughs> Solidly lower middle class. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Solidly. Yes, so we're going to be doing one mission a week. Um, you have an arbitrary amount of time to do your missions, which will coincide with our streaming time. If, you know, your guys in character say, oh, it's two days later, you haven't run out of time yet, but if the clock runs out, the computer gets mad and says, you know, you took too much time, your mission is ended. Oh. And then the next session, I'll give you new briefings and new missions. Um, so, as far as what today's mission is, 
Um, I hope you've all read your intros, and at some point, your team leader will tell you what you're doing. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, so, hi, everybody. Welcome to our the, the new troubleshooting uh, team for Sector EAA. As you can see from my name, I'm not from around here, but uh, uh, Jordan REAA1 is, so, you know, he can show us around where all yes. the good vending machines are and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, and so this is... Uh, this is the office's first troubleshooter team, so congratulations, everybody! We did something, right? We all got promoted, and now we're on a troubleshooting team! Hooray! All right. Yeah. Uh, the, right now, our team is designated EAA OT1, but if we come up with a nickname for our team, I can register it for us. So, we have a really straightforward uh, mission. We have to go to pump station EAA Rhino Niner and make sure that it is operating optimally. However, we have to go to do a couple other things before we do that. So we do have some mission achievements that I was given. Mm. That's for you two to oh, look at. Thank you. Here's for us to mm. look at. Mm. Um, I, 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 I do want to point out, though, that one of these achievements is apparently treasonous, so we should try to avoid doing that one. <clears throat> Let me put in a word about game mechanics here. Mm. You have something called XP points. You can always tell how many XP points you have because it'll tell you in your hub. The rule book says I have to punish players who call them anything other than XP points. Um, I don't know if I will. Well, I guess I'll do whatever's funny. And but the rule book says we. Yeah. The, the rule book says I have to punish you if you call them anything other than XP points. I guess that's the information that you have. Okay. Um, so <laughs> XP points are what you spent to get from infrared to red. I've given you um, some references on how you can spend XP points. The way you gain XP points are you do your job, which is what you're in the process of doing, and all clones in Alpha Complex have access to some universal achievements that never change. I've given you this week's edition. Um, in, you should each have a copy, or each yes. side have a copy. You yep. also have uh, mission achievements that will be for this mission only. Mm. And then some of you might have some sort of traitorous, treasonous achievements that surely none of you have, and I don't need to talk about those. Now, achievements, um, because they change so much, I don't keep track of them. If you do an achievement, give yourself the XP points, please. If that's a system that doesn't work, we can revisit it, but just, just help yourself to the XP points when you do whatever it says. If you have questions about them, I'm happy to answer questions, or if you're like, Dale, does this do this achievement, and I'll be like, oh yeah, it's an achievement, and then answer the question. Sweet. I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, <clears throat> nice, easy mission. We'll be out of here in 20 minutes. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. 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 All righty, team. Who knows the way to pump station EAA Rhino Niner? Well, I can get us there. Excellent. Lead the way, science officer, Ira. I would definitely make use of my science pack, though, if I could, though. Uh, uh, your uh, equipment officer should have your science kit for you, science officer. Oh, thank you. There's a science officer on this team. Um, okay, okay, yes. Are you the equipment officer? I am the equipment officer, and I have... Fantastic. I have, um, I have, uh... So, I have a uh, officer's kit beginning with S, um. and I, I'm sure that's the science officer's <clears throat> kit. You can have that kit. I need everything that's in it back completely as it was when I gave it to you, uh, or else we're going to suffer severe repercussions. Seems correct, yep. All right. This should be able to get us where we need to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Definitely is not the safety officer's kit. <sighs> Does anyone else need their kit for doing their job? What's your job again? Oh, uh, I'm I'm the happiness officer. I want to make sure that everybody is happy and well and and happy. Wow. And and well. Are I, you happy? 
I'm always happy. Good. I mean, it's a great day here. It's so nice of Friend Computer to send us with a with a with a happiness officer. A smile for you is a smile for Friend Computer. Excellent. That's what I always say. I look at you and I already feel better about myself. I already feel happier. <laughs> good. Good. It's a local idiom. Uh well, happiness officer, I'm happy to give you a kit containing Ted Red balloons, which will definitely make people happy, right? You balloons are something that make people happy? No, I, 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 I have heard that balloons are things that um make make people happy. Um, uh, it's a little red backpack you can wear. I mean, if you wear that little red backpack, I'm going to smile the entire time. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get along great. <laughs> I hope so. I'd offer to wear the backpack, but you know. Wings. Mmm. Mm. I thought it was because of the brittle bones. Those two. They're actually hollow. Oh. Yes. They don't contain any marrow, I, I'm told. I'm I don't... How do you breathe? I don't know much about my own physiology. Wow. That's so exciting. You must keep track of all your blood. It's like... It's like you guys are both happiness officers. I'm just looking at you and getting happier by the second. If any of my blood happens to leave my body, please keep track of it for me. I'll do so. I'm going to ride you someday. Uh -huh. <laughs> How, uh, do you have anything uh, over there that I, our fearless and absolutely capable team leader, might have? The kind of thing that will inspire confidence in, 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 uh, in a lot of people. Uh, a kid containing a brown pair of aviator goggles. That'll let everybody know you're in charge. Ooh. As, as uh, it's definitely not the mobility officer's kit. <sighs> You're going to have to bring the whole wheelbarrow. I could ride in it. He could ride in it. Would that make people happier? It Ooh, would... what if you inflated the balloons? What if I inflated the balloons? What a great idea. Now, those are balloons that are made to be inflated by full-sized adult lungs. How does that affect you, Nibbles? I can't do that. <laughs> I'd also question the lips situation, but <laughs> I'd be happy to give you a hand. I need your lips, not a I hand. Mean. You just pointed that out. <laughs> what the hell? This nozzle emits gas. They're pneumatically powered. Fantastic. Pass them down here. That, please. I'll tie that for Thank you. Thank yeah. you. We'll okay, that good. The... Teamwork makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a great team you have. I'm very, I think this is a good team. Uh, we so... fill 10 balloons. Yeah. Okay. If all of them pops, that means he dies, right? No. That's your gas. You're the one losing your gas. Right. If any of those pops, someone might die. Well, there. Is that someone you? Uh. It depends on what the gas actually is. Well, but, don't... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when it comes up. You're the up. safety officer. Make sure they don't pop. Good plan. I'm going to curl down... Wait, what? <laughs> You're the one with the safety officer, kid, so you must be the safety officer. Oh, uh, I did, you know, you gave me the science officer's kit because I'm the science officer. I distinctly heard that. Yes. I'm going to curl down uh, every finger except the one that matters and throw the hand back. Okay. <laughs> I've tied the balloons in, in, a, in, even, in an even uh, array around the wheelbarrow, so there's no <laughs> room for you to get in and out. Okay, good. Okay. I'm here to make everybody happy. Oh, good. So this, this tiny dinosaur has wheelbarrow. this big metal hand and throws it, mm -hmm. and I think you then walk, it o walk over to it and pick it up. And... I mean, I, ideally, I'd, 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 I'd like to be cool and catch it on my own uh, up socket, I guess it is. Do you, would you would you prefer for it to actually just come right off and have like a little tether that lets you pull it right back? Would that be better? Wind it back in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a suggestion is all. Boy, that sounds that sounds like some pre, some some equipment that maybe I shouldn't be having. Yeah, I, this yeah, okay. Is okay. Red. I, I think you could engineer that. Surely. Well, I mean, I probably could put that together. Yeah. Leftover monofilament wire from a <laughs> sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ew. It keeps you from leaving. It's a very important thing that the computer gave you, and you want to be sure you don't lose it. I need to know where it is at all times, and also what it's feeling. <laughs> it feels when you take it off. All right. It feels all the time. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I know it's hurting. That's pretty normal. I'm in a wheelbarrow. Uh, I have a strobe light. Hmm. And an air horn that is almost empty and rather pathetic sounding. So let's get this party started, shall we? Great, we'll need that to alert people that we're coming. 
I'm just going to put on my, uh, my, my, my routing helmet. <laughs> Unfortunately, it blocks out all visible light, but it does lead me in the direction of, the, of our waypoint. Should we not put him in the wheelbarrow instead? Yeah. Yeah. You get in the wheelbarrow. I think okay. that's a great idea. I'll get in the wheelbarrow. All right. Very good. And you can provide directions. Sounds good. All right. Don't mind all the skateboards and rollerblades in there. <laughs> <laughs> Just sort of get comfy. We can all become wheelbarrows. <laughs> so you're blind and you climb into this wheelbarrow, mm -hmm. the edge of which is lined with balloons. Mm, fantastic. So um, I think this is a good time for us to teach the audience about dice rolling. Probably good point. <laughs> so um, you have four stats. Mm -hmm. Everybody has the same four stats. Um, their uh, brains, chutzpah, mechanics, and violence. So for physical things, we'll usually go with the violence stat. Mm -hmm. And then what sort of clamber blindly into a balloon-lined wheelbarrow skill do you have? Oh, that would definitely be... Like you have athletics? Yes, I do have athletics. Let's go with athletics. All right, so what's the sum of violence and athletics? The sum of violence and athletics is seven. Wow. I think you're going to pull this off. So we're... I like to work out. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you're going to roll seven dice plus the computer okay. die. So I'll need one more. Uh, D6? Oh, no, I've got seven. Sorry. Thank you. I appreciate your tiny die. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. <laughs> All right. That so is... fives and sixes are successes. Ones are failures. If the computer uh, shows a computer, mm -hmm. y something happens that stresses you out. Let me know when that happens. Okay. Well, I've got a four on the computer die, so that's nothing. Two, three, four on normal dice, and a six, and three ones. And three ones. Yeah. So you have one success and three fails. So I feel like you tip over the wheelbarrow, um, you step on Kennedy R's foot, you pop a balloon, and then you clamber inside. That's Yeah, that's all for the limbs, so I figure that's good. Okay. <laughs> Hank, so, that one was my favorite! <laughs> Ow. What happens when the balloon pops? Yeah, so good of you. Hmm. I want everybody to be happy. Are there any sources of open flame nearby? What kind of gas? Hey, are there any sources of open flame nearby? Uh, I didn't provide any, but um, if not, there'll just, the there'll just be an, an obnoxious effluvia. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Bad smell air for those. Um, as the as the resident of this, would I actually would I also know where this thing is? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Um, I can lead the way. Uh, I'd like to make a little stop off first, just to pick something up, if that's okay with everybody. We'll, we'll do a little tour. How's that? Oh, You're new here, right? I've been here. I kind of know everybody. Hey, Brenda, how's that sound? I, I, as long as you're making a stop, I want to make a stop, too. Let's make a stop. Let's all make a Let's stop. Let's make stops. Yeah. Oh, I like stops. Stops make people happy. When yeah. you're going too fast, it's important to just take a f***ing moment. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. <clears throat> yes. It's always nice to enjoy the beautiful day that friend can give computer has given us, isn't it? Indeed. Stop and smell the roses. Not that I know what those are. No. So where are you going first? Well, G uh, Jordan is leading the way. So where do, where where are we gonna go? Oh, well. Where did you need to go? I, Let's go there first. I just wanted to go to Transbot Station EAA-07. Well, you know what? I did too. How about that? Yes, I the the uh, I mean, it's fantastic because the Transbot Station here is really state of the art. Mhm. Mm uh I'm going to say yes to everything you say. It's really state of the art. It's a total crap show. Mm -hmm. So right over here, like you'll actually notice, uh, th <laughs> this is Trolley Tram 005, and it's been running for number of years. And it's just it's just a big pile of gears and bullcrap with a big creepy face on it that somebody has painted. It's just terrible. And over here are the storage lockers. So if you look right over that way, and then I'm going to go into the storage lockers, uh, storage locker. Uh, EAO 7051 at Transbot Station EAA 07. So um, 
that mm. is tucked away in a corner. There are four lockers um, that are kind of not as easy to see from the rest of the station, um, and that is one of them. Okay. Um, on one of the others, uh, so these all have a pad where you can insert your DNA probably by licking it, and that's how it's definitely yours. You open it up. Um, so you have a tongue, right? Yes. Okay. Indeed. Excellent. Uh, I might spit. One of the tongue pads has been jimmied off, and um, it looks like someone tried to break into this locker and failed. The locker is still locked, and there is still something inside it. Is that the one that I need to get into? Uh, please tell me again which locker you're going to. Uh, that would be locker number EAA-07-051. Uh, 051 is locked and fine. Okay, oh. then... What I would like to do is kind of like start pointing things out around this area. This is a really good vantage point, and then start like pointing out things over that way, like while I'm like backing up towards the locker, and then just like, and then over there, hi Brenda, that's another Brenda. So when you <laughs> licked it, mm -hmm. um, you you turned and you're like, oh, so the tongue pad is up at human mouth level. Can I follow? Jordan, oh, I, I, mean, I don't think that's a like, deal question. No. Oh. Yeah. So, yeah. so while you're pointing this out, I was like, oh, this is just like everything I've seen in Sector NHL One. To be honest with you, we have the we have the the trolley the tr with the things the whatever you called them. Mm. The you have we have the trolley trams. They're Might not even as be the nice. same one. No. Yeah, oh. they're not as nice as the ones up here. We also have some Brendas, but uh, you know what? These storage lockers actually look uh, way nicer than the ones yeah. I'm used to. I bet these are all waterproof. If there's one thing I know about NHL, it's that they're always trying to go to where the puck's going to be. And and slightly lavender flavored. Would you be so kind? It's been a long time. It's been a long day. I'd like to taste some lavender. Would you just lift me up to that one right there? It tastes like lavender? That sounds... You know what? I'm going to lift him up so he can lick his lavender locker, and I'm going to lick the one next to it. Maybe the one on the right, 52? Sure. i got to taste this, too. I think so. Have lavender lockers in NHL. Delicious. Mmm. All right. So um, you lick locker 51, mm -hmm. and it says uh, user recognized, and the locker opens up. Excellent. Wow. And, um, Neat. I'll get you just a second. Yeah. So um, when you open it up, there are half a dozen, like, 20, 30 centimeter pieces of some sort of bamboo-like substance and a book of matches mm. and some paper that are all, almost everything is completely blacked out. You can occasionally see some articles. Some of them are definite. Some of them are indefinite. Mm. But that's about all you're getting on this paper that has been blacked out. Mm. <laughs> well, I can tell by these articles, I should definitely take all of this stuff. <laughs> yep, just, just, burp, like, oh, this needs to get turned in, I think. Burp, burp, burp. Where did you want to go? <laughs> all right, so you uh, yep. licked the locker next to it. Yeah. So I think that the, the quantity of lavender left on this lock is disappointing. I don't think it tastes very much of lavender. Um, does anyone want to speculate about what it might taste like? I think it tastes like sweaty fingers. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, you Just probably not on the occasional sweaty finger. You can probably confirm that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like like spam that's been left to sit. How's the lavender? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> like Do you want to lick any of these lockers while you're here? So, while you're saying that, um locker 52 uh, lights up uh user recognized. And it opens up. Oh, hi, that's very strange. And there are two um, canisters of some sort of fluid. And there are about a dozen little silvery, crumpled up, kind of like tinfoil, except softer. And then there are two incendiary grenades. Ooh. This isn't my locker here. All of this, you get it opened up for me. I'm just going to take all of this stuff and turn it into friend computer later, because this clearly doesn't, this is clearly a... Are you talking treason? It's clearly that somebody shares my DNA. 
Maybe I've got a twin somewhere. Wouldn't or that clone. be? Well, oh, Rogue would, clone. Wouldn't that be so nice of friend computer to give me a special friend who's just like me? Thanks, friend computer. <laughs> Shink. All right, so we're done at the lockers. It's I am really oh. like intrigued by these lockers, and uh, so they taste I, great. I I want to have a chance at trying one of these too. So I'm just gonna pick. Uh, I'm just gonna pick one at random. Uh, 54. Let's Jeez, open 54. 54. Yeah, is there 54? There is. This is the bank of lockers. 51 through 54. 53 has the broken um, tongue pad. Oh, really? Yeah, where someone has tried to break in and has failed, so ah. it's still all sealed up. Uh, but 54 looks functional. Oh, I'm glad I just guessed that one. Though. Yes, well done. Thank you. And so uh, you decide to lick the pad. No, I pull a hair out from my head with the part of the root still attached, and I put it on the pad and I spit on it so that it can read the DNA that it gets from that. All right, well, um, that should work. Mm -hmm. What sort of um, using hair on a tongue pad skill do you have? <laughs> I'm going to say brains combined with science. Sure. Great. <laughs> That's seven. Ooh. Plus the computer die. Plus the computer die. So I roll seven d6s. Plus the computer die. Plus the computer die. <laughs> I keep trying to get away with stuff and you I won't know. let me. <laughs> I'm a helper. All right. I rolled one six. And no one, I uh, rolled a five and a six, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, and I rolled a three on the computer die. So I rolled okay. two successes and no failures. I think this just works. It just works. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. Thank wow, you. Wow, what did I think of that? <laughs> I, it just... Four brains. <laughs> As troubleshooters, I think that we should investigate this broken locker, though. I definitely need to fix that. I can't let something like that just sit undone. Absolutely does not. My, does my locker swing open? It does. So, sorry, I was just getting let's, let's deal with Let's finish this first. All right. So it has um, eight adhesive biohazard markers in it. How weird. How strange. Mm -hmm. That's neat, though. Uh, you you know, know, as the equipment officer, this looks like the kind of equipment that, that people could use in other places. I don't know why they're being stored here in a locker. I'm just going to take these and, uh, and slip them inside my, my jumpsuit. They are yellow. Oh, they are yellow. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, that, unfortunate. You, you don't have to undo anything. I'm just, mm. I feel like that's information you should have. Yeah, I should have them. Well, I'm definitely going to put them inside my suit where nobody can see them. Okay, cool. Whew, that problem's gone. Right. So, you were going to do a mechanics engineer for me, I think. Yes. Well, I was going to do a uh, mechanics, uh, now that's, engineer has a minus five. Okay. And what's your mechanics? Mechanics is one. All right. So... The absolute value is four, mm -hmm. so you're going to roll four dice and the computer dice. Okay, and I would like to, uh, I would like to, to uh, specifically attempt to fix it such that it locks. Okay. Nothing. So, oh no, wait. There's a, there's one failure. Ah, uh, well, but you had a negative node, which stands for number of dice. Mm -hmm. So uh, the dice work differently when it's negative. Ah. You you roll the absolute value. But um, fives and sixes are still successes. Okay. And one through fours are failures. Okay. So I have a uh, two fours and a six, which means that I believe I would fail. That. Did you say one through four is a failure? One, yes. two, three, and four. One, yes. two, three, and oh, four two, is three, a failure. Four. Great, perfect. There are four failures. Four <laughs> failures and one success? Yes. Well, I'm afraid that your attempt to um, make this so that it locks properly backfires. Mm. Um, so with one success and four failures, I think you have some options here. Maybe you make it so that it's definitely really locked, but nobody's ever going to be able to tinker with it again. Mm, that that, that, that That's a possibility. Yeah, it doesn't seem exactly what I'm going for. So what are you going for here uh, with your one success and your four failures? I, I'm thinking if it's, I mean... Boy, if it's if it if I'm trying to make it make it close, and oh, function properly, then obviously it should do the opposite. So, um, I guess we can go with that this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it's going to open up, and there's a little all by itself. All by itself. Oh, that's or, even better. Um, actually, it looks like something is pushing from the inside. Oh. Because there's a little hovering green sphere 10 or 15 centimeters in diameter, and um, it kind of, uh, it has a little beam that comes out and scans the four of you, 
And <laughs> then uh, the sphere says, which of you is my commander? That I guess that's me. me as the leader of this mission. <laughs> Okay, so I that think happens simultaneously. Yep. <laughs> I'll just ask the computer which one of you it is. Does it says like I'll it just ask the computer? It says that out loud, and oh. then I'm giving you a chance to react. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yo, no, I don't think, I don't think that's a that's a problem. <laughs> you broke it. You fix it. It's him. No need to no 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 need to find a, a separate commander. This is a I I, I can take care of this. <clears throat> So, two of you are claiming to be my commander. Yes. But you would obviously execute a order from your commander. And your commander is telling you that the that he is here. And that there is no need to check with computer on the status of the commander. But the person telling me, uh, commanding me to listen to you, is them. S so, you're my commander? The sphere starts spinning. Oh, okay, hold on. Can we, take, can we take a moment out of character? What do we want to have happen here? I do not want to have possession of a, a bee commanding a green sphere, so I'm not doing anything. I want to keep seeing where this goes. <laughs> oh, I'm with Ian. Just like, well, we don't know what this floating green rain. sphere does. I, I don't know what it does. I, I'm giving you priority to, to, to do something... Because okay, because I, okay, I, cause I don't want to step on your toes or nothing. I want to make sure that we all, like, as players, are like, cool, let's do that. You know, you okay, cool, Nibbles is taking a spear. Spear, That's not a please. spear, not a spear, not a spear. Please. I said spear, we all heard it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Good, I've watched you. I said sphere. I mean, nothing <laughs> deadly about a sphere. Correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, no point I, I, I think, Yes! I mean, if I may here, the, the easiest thing to, 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 uh, for us to do would be to uh, establish some sort of a rotating command structure. I mean, it is a sphere, That's right. which I said. So oh, we can do a timeshare. I'll e take Tuesdays. You can easily tell who your commander is by who is giving you commands at this time. It rotates. Unfortunately, it was very difficult when you first came out because we gave you commands simultaneously, which may have overloaded your circuits. But you can be sure in future that those commands that you receive are coming from your immediate commander. Does Blake look at all uncomfortable right now? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he's got really light bones. <laughs> <laughs> but I think you should give Blake priority. Like, Blake, I think you should give Blake our priority. And then Nibbles will, like, wink at the sphere. <laughs> so, um, the sphere kind of hovers over toward you and is just sort of near your face and hovering. Do you have a designation? Uh... Yes, I am MW-334. Great. <laughs> We're going to call you... Nibot. We're going to call it... I like that. We're going to call you Nibot. Yes. Nibot. Just as a temporary name so we don't have to say your entire designation. My kingdom grows. I will respond to Nibot. Thank you, Nibot. Uh, we're on our way to do a mission. Kennedy R can tell you more about the mission and you'll be accompanying us on. Yes, absolutely. Hey, Nibot. Yes. We have a bunch of stuff that we need to do. We have to go to a pump station and make sure it's working. But I, we also have some additional stuff that we're supposed to be doing down in sector EAA because we're supposed to be showing off how great things are uh, for, uh, for the glory of friend computer. And in fact, we need to make a video for posterity about yeast production in sector EAA. Do you have any sort of camera, uh, abilities, Nibot? I do not. Have you checked with HPD and MC? They tend to deal with the, uh, entertainment and other camera type things. Hmm, no, I, I guess... I just have visual sensors. Oh, okay. So, hmm, interesting. What can you sense, Nibot? Right now, mostly confusion. Hmm. Do you do you <laughs> have a memory, Nibot? I have. So you can remember everything you've seen? Yes. So you could play that back later for somebody if they want to see what was in your memory. Right, but it's not... It, I don't have any film in it. It's not a camera. Oh, okay. But you have a memory. Yes. So you could... It would, but it would be entirely digital. Would you be able to describe the memory to us? Yes, Good so enough. I was in the locker. And you're seeing this right now? Yes. Perfect. How did 
you end up in the locker, Nibot? I was placed there uh, pending some repair work. Did the repair work get completed, Nibot? No. Perfect. Blake, enjoy your bot. Your Nibot. Nibot, I'm going to need to know what work was supposed to be completed so we can troubleshoot why it wasn't completed. Oh, I needed to have insulation added to my casing. Oh, yeah. How yeah. much insulation? I wasn't told. Do we have any more of those balloons left? I mean, there are nine inflated <laughs> balloons. Any non-inflated balloons? Can we untie a balloon? We will. We untie a balloon. Mm -hmm. We deflate it. That one's Linda. Linda, why? Pew! Linda's going to come in very handy. How wide can we stretch this? Can we get it over Nibot? Can That's you still see through it? I've never tried to take a little balloon and stretch it that big. <laughs> we we have. It's a little weirdly. Um, yeah, I, I feel like um, there are people who have the answer to that question at this table, and they are how, not me. How large is Nibot? 10, 15 centimeters oh, in diameter. Oh, you can definitely get a balloon into that. Okay. okay. Into or onto? Uh, into. Ah. Um. But I want it into the balloon. Camouflage. Yes, it's okay. green. Yeah. I would like to make a roll, if I could. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I would like to roll mechanics demolitions. <laughs> To see if, because this floating thing mentioned, mentioned insulation, yes. if it's possible that it might overheat if we put rubber, unbreathable rubber, over the top of it, or if it is at all explosive at in any way. So, I think that's more of an engineering question than a demolitions question. But that's you fair. can do both, I, and I'll give you some, ex, some explosive stuff, and then I'll give you some engineering stuff. Excellent. I, which would you like me to roll demolitions or engineer along with my mechanics? Uh, I, I want you to do them both in whatever order you like. Oh, excellent. Uh, let's do demolitions first. That's sure. exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds exciting. Yes. That means we might not have to do the other one. One, yeah. two, <laughs> one, two <laughs> three, four, one, two, three, plus... That, okay. Marvy. Uh, that is a fail. That is a success. I got one success and one fail. Okay. <clears throat> so your fail is you just don't know how explosive this is. Okay. Um, your success is that you can see that there are definitely a lot of things that, uh, you know, when you get your, your claw close to it, mm -hmm. uh, there is air circulation in there. So these are vents. Okay. Don't do that. Uh, now may I roll my engineer? Feel free. Excellent. Thank you very much. May I have one more d6, please? Thank you kindly. Oh, actually, we do have more d over there, too, but yeah. I want the big one. <laughs> yeah. An, make an impact. Yeah. Oh, no. The people in the podcast have to hear that uh, he's rolling. Yeah. What? What's a fail again? Just ones, right? Yes. Fantastic. This seems like a good time for me to tell you about Moxie. I haven't seen your role, but I heard your oh no. I think so, this is a great time to tell me about Moxie. Dale, please tell me about Moxie. All right, so many games have a mechanic where you slowly go crazy, and when whatever happens, um, you are completely insane, and horrible, terrible things get done by you or to you. Marvelous. And in Paranoia, that's your Moxie count. Excellent. Uh, I don't remember how many moxie points you each have. You're starting at full moxie. Excellent. Uh, because this is session one. Mm -hmm. um, so you will also get full moxie back um, every time you have a brand new clone. Um, unless you lost your previous clone by losing all your moxie. In which case you'll get some back. Now, you can do various things with moxie. Um... If you have a hidden mutant power, you can activate it with your moxie. I uh, don't have those. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing hidden no, about No, definitely your, not. Yeah. Um, if you don't like the roll that you just made, you can spend a point of moxie and re-roll. You know, that sounds real good. Okay. I'd like to do that, please. Fantastic. Well, hi, fancy pencil. We're just going to put a little X in that moxie there. So how did you roll? Cause I, oh, I real still... poopy. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a, a fail, and then everything was below four. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, everything else was below four. So that doesn't seem good at all. All right. All right. Roll so hard God can hear. Oh, that is way, way better. <clears throat> all right, that's one fail and three successes. Okay. Yes. So, 
Um, what would you like the fail to be? Uh, I think the fail is that I do something to jostle it, and it's like it doesn't like me that much. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and you had a whole bunch of successes. Yep. So you can see that there is a fairly extensive visual, uh, non-visual sensor suite mm -hmm. uh, installed in this. It's measuring um, temperatures and vibrations and all sorts of other things. Mm -hmm. This is some sort of probe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, well, uh, our, our friend here, Nibop, the great and glorious Nibop, um, uh, this is a probe. It doesn't have any visual recording data. It, do it, it doesn't see... We can't make a video with it. It mm. takes all the other kinds of data and uh, things like that. Also, I'd highly recommend not to block any of those little vents on the bottom, or that thing's going to explode. Oh. And I don't know how bad. We could mm. cut holes for the vents. But we could. Oh, but the rubber would block all the other sensors. That would be difficult. I probably wouldn't know where to fly. I'd recommend not doing that. I have a question. Where do you want me to probe? <laughs> I want you to probe the area around us, Nibop. Okay. I am getting less and less uncomfortable with this as time moves on. <laughs> Please oh. tell me the ambient it temperature leaves. of the space we're in. Uh, it in, is... In Celsius. One. What, and, and Nibop, I'm just wondering, do you have knowledge on what is a comfortable temperature for, uh, for, uh, Denizens of Alpha Complex? No, but you could tell me. I believe it's something along the lines of 19 to 23. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like that. Mm, I like that, yeah. too. Yeah, it's, you guys are cold. You can see your breath. It's one in here. Mm. Mm hmm I do have a little extra insulation we might be able to add to Nibot, though. If we can mask off those areas, uh, the well, just so we don't get any inside, I do have this can of, of uh, quick hardened foam. Foam is an insulator, right? Yeah. I'd ask the engineer. Well, you're the happiness officer. I am, I, but I do have, I have a wide breadth of knowledge to make sure that everybody is as happy as possible. <laughs> you can also <laughs> douse it in oil. And then, and yes. That's an insulator. Yes, it is. Well, you're also the- Also flammable. You're, you're the science officer. Do what you think is best to this I, green sphere. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna hide behind my car now. is it possible for you to close your vents for a moment? Um, I'll try, and it kind of lands, mm -hmm. and then it kind of rolls over off on the side. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Great. There we go. One gray orb. So, um... I'd like another mechanics engineering check. Certainly. <laughs> Please. May I also make one? Y yes, but you're not physically involved, right? No. No, I'm right or no, I'm no, wrong? No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm not physically involved. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that's one for the mechanics, five for the negative five engineering. All right. So it's four plus the computer die. Four plus the computer die. Okay. Oh, my heart just sank. Oh, no. Oh, uh, well, I have one computer, mm. uh, a one, and a two fours and a five. So I think You that's... know, we just learned about this moxie thing. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's time to re-roll that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ever going to get tired of the noise that pen makes. Let's try that again. I mean, once you have a computer showing, mm. you, you're losing a point of moxie every time the computer icon shows up on a die. Ah. So there's very little reason, like unless you have an awesome roll. Right. Like, Not to... If it's a bad roll and a computer, just re-roll. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yep. Fine. Yep. So that's two ones, and those are the failures, correct? Well, you yes. have minuses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the minus land. You have minuses. So I've got three, five, four... Four, five, five are the three failures, and two Fives successes. Fives are successes. Oh, there are successes. Fives and sixes are successes. Ah, okay. So two failures and two successes and a four. A four is also a failure. Then that is also a failure. Okay. 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 Good. One through I'm four. Write this down. You have is... a negative. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm confused. I'm. I apologize for no worries. No, I'm no, no. confused Let's about the mechanics. negatives. Okay. So let me review. Yes. Um. Some skills and some stats. Mm -hmm. Um. Might have negative numbers. Okay. For the stats, as zero means your your normal 
Um, so very few people have anything negative. It's kind of you, you start at zeros and sometimes the computer thinks you need something and so, okay. but stats are usually very small numbers. Mm -hmm. um, skills can <clears throat> be anything from negative five to plus five. Okay. And he has a negative five in his engineering. Okay. So um, he is using mechanics and he has a one in mechanics mm -hmm. plus negative five. So the sum of one and negative five is negative four. Four. So he's rolling the absolute value of that, four dice, yep. plus the computer die. But because his node, his number of dice, was negative, the failures are, work differently. Okay. Instead of just ones being failures, ones, twos, threes, and fours are failures okay, got it. when your node is I negative. Am, I am caught up. Cool. May I ask a question just as a, a, a player group? Yeah. Uh, this seems to be a more chaos-oriented crew. Um, just, I, I'm getting that vibe. Uh, do we want to attempt to uh, narratively toss a task to the person that might have the greatest chance of success? Or is that a thing that everybody just, let, just let it ride and Jacob's going to take the stick out of his butt and, <laughs> and it's cool? Well, I don't know what your chances of success are, right? Mm -hmm. So I can't suggest that somebody else do something, right? No, I'm just saying, as a general rule, do we want to, as players, try to give ourselves the highest chance of success in this? Or Jacob makes the noise his pen makes as he takes the stick out of his butt and just goes, screw it, let's... <laughs> I am definitely of a, we can throw caution to the winds, um, but if, if you feel you have a better chance of success than somebody else, then I think you have to persuade them to let you do it instead. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, that, yeah. cool. So long as like, we as players are agreeing on that, I am totally good with that. And uh, could you take the cap off the pen for just a second. Just, there we go. Yeah. And that's the stick coming out of my butt. All right. So I gave him a negative five in engineering and a passion for engineering because I thought the combination oh, no. was funny. Oh, no, okay. And it, it turns out he's right. <laughs> also, I'm with your, sweating. With, <laughs> I, would ask, I would ask Jordan mm. R, or perhaps, can we call you Nibbles? Yeah, of course. And Nibbles, I would ask you then, um, can you manipulate the tiny foam, the, the, the foam canister he was using with the So they're having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Successfully? Oh, so okay. Well, you then we have um, next time had it, it makes sense. seal yes. all its mm. vents, yes. and then you've sprayed this quick hardened foam all over yes. it. Yes. So uh, you had two successes and three fails? Yes. All right. So um, the two successes show that you gave it a really good solid coat. Maybe a double coat. Good. This has a lot of quick hardened foam this on it. This is very insulated. Yes. Um, it is like completely cemented to the floor. Oh. Um, and, uh, you know, I think at least one of your fingers is, is caught in that cement. Oh, well, that one's purely ornamental, so that's fine. <laughs> All right. What, so it was one of your mechanical fingers or one of your flesh fingers? Uh, you, 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 uh, your call. I'm going to say mechanical because. Uh, and, you, and you pointed out the pinky, so that's perfect. <laughs> All right. So, um, can you detach that pinky? I don't remember how your mechanical hand works. I mean, everything's detachable with enough force. <laughs> yes, that's true. Um, so, I think that would be, what, a violence engineering check? I think so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's, uh... What? Unless someone else is I, jumping uh, in. Uh, yeah. Um, my friend. My, my wonderful, wonderful friend. Yes. My... Beautiful friend whom I've just met and known for five minutes. Yes, so what are you, what have you done? Well, we've I've applied insulation to the robot as necessary. Of course. And now I need to remove my hand from it because <laughs> we are not we're not good friends yet. Understood. How might I assist you as your happiness officer? What would make you happiest now? He looks pretty happy to me. I mean, I, I, mean, I, Do I... I just successfully insulated an orb, so that's and something. And I'm happy for you. It, I, uh, absolute, absolute best case scenario, I get to keep my fancy finger? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we've also accomplished a great task today. We've managed to insulate an orb that was in need of insulation. Agreed. So, I mean, that's something we can check off our, our list. That, is that even on our list? Uh, not for today. We haven't quite gotten to what we're actually supposed to be doing today. Oh! I'm shocked! <laughs> but yeah, if you, could, if you could either detach... Well, you're the one who wanted to go down to the lockers, then we had to fix the lockers. The day, a day in the life of a troubleshooter is never over. So this is my fault! And then Nibbles, like, <laughs> gestures at the science officer that's like, I'm cool. Oh no, I'm, I'm taking credit for this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
good. <laughs> I'll make a note of it on the paperwork. Thank you, Blake R. That's very kind of you. Would you like me to help you extricate yourself from the orb who loves you? Please. <laughs> I would like to make that roll. All right. So, uh, to be clear, the role that was under discussion yes. was a violence engineering role to chop off his finger because it's cemented to the orb. I would like to try and preserve that finger and so, remove him from all of that. So, this yes. me, um, uh, that's fine. Yes. I, I would just remind oh, you yes, what, yep, yep. what role he had requested. Understood. Um, so, the metal finger is kind of encased in this quick hardened concrete that he sprayed onto it. Concrete's different from foam. Well, it was. It started as foam. Oh, great! Jesus, mm -hmm. no, no, God is not here. Mm. We're alone in Alpha Complex. We are. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, uh, allow me to try to roll violence engineering to take off his pinky because I can't see a better way to get. How? You have oil. I have oil. Yeah, you, you just We just had a conversation about flammable oil. Yeah, I said we could do that. That didn't mean I, I'm able to. Wait a minute, I have an idea. How, mm, how, God. how brittle do you think this is? What about some cold fun? Ooh. Cold fun is kind of like ice cream? Yeah. Oh. Is it, and it's already quite cold in here. Yeah, Not it's that it's too cold. cold <laughs> like but the, I mean, it's perfect temperature for friend computer, obviously. But it's a little chilly. I've always been a cold person. I mean, it's a transbot station. Like, if you think of a subway station in winter. Yeah. Like, the, the yeah. I have one sharp pin. I have a knife. Oh! <laughs> that's good. That sounds good. Doesn't this sound good, Blake? Could, well, is that a thing you could... Could you chip his finger out? I'm gonna try. Okay. Why don't we just try jumping up Great. and down on everything and seeing if we can shout at the phone. Well, if you need to hold the knife while you're jumping, here it is. Be careful, it has a hair trigger with the, uh, with the blade. I'm gonna not jump whilst I appreciate our leader's wise wisdom. I'm going to try and save your finger. You mad people. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to try to get his finger out of there by breaking the, hopefully, some of the thin filament so he can extract it himself because hopefully, you know, logically, it's going to be kind of like a funnel and there's nothing to hold it like a ring or anything. Right. Okay, good. Excellent. I'm going to try that. No uh, deep good luck. luck. Yes, thank you. So you're using the <clears throat> stiletto that he's handing you? Yes. So he's handing it to you. The, the blade is in there, but as he mentions, it has a hair trigger. Um, but I'm sure you're an expert at melee weapons, so... Oh, I am. Yes, so, um... It's fine, you don't have any hair, it's all feathers. Right! Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Just give me, like, a melee violence roll so that you're comfortable wielding this stiletto, and then we'll get on to the work that you were suggesting. I hate everything. Okay. Cool. Boy, I'm... to go over any rules for you? No, that's okay, I got it, Dale! Thanks, Dale. <laughs> Five. Melee violence, so that's... Oh, my goodness, math. Okay, three plus thing, and it's all bad. So I get fives or sixes, or I am hooped. And just so you got a little bit more space to work, I'm going to detach and step back a bit. Okay. So all I'm doing is trying to hold a knife. <laughs> yeah, he's yep. he's giving you this faulty Of course, stiletto. with a hair trigger. And... It sounds like he's handing this to you while he's detaching and and moving away. Good. Okay. Great. Oh man. Uh, if you give Nibs an extra hole already, dear lord, he just learned how to poop. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. So that's three failures and one success. Uh, you wouldn't count that one. That's the that's the computer die, right? You you, you count the computer you die. Count the computer yeah. Die for failures. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. But that's. That's a computer, right? Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. No, yeah, you count the computer die. Yeah. No. Beach. I'm sorry. Beach. I was like, you don't count that one Beach. as a failure. Beach, I'm you trying. I, I'm I know we've got a thousand, built six. Okay, we have six. We have six clones. I'm really trying to keep. <coughs> anyway, yes. All right. So you have, um, was that one success and three failures? Is that what you said? I, you just told me, I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, uh, that, that, is, that is what I said. All right. So I think you have some options here. Good. Um... Your your success hmm. could be that 
the knife does end up in your hand. Mm -hmm. um, and then we'll deal with how the failures modify what I just said. Or the <laughs> success could be that when um, the knife springs out, um, it is not your hand that it is in. And then we will talk about how the failures modify that. Um, I feel like we could say that the knife drops and bounces so that it's not currently in anybody's hand. And then we would talk about how the three failures modify that. Uh, but, you know, this is a collaborative process. So what would you like that success to mean? For those on the podcast, oh. that, that was dead air of him just looking at me. <laughs> oh, that wasn't a look, Gail. I thought we were going to be friends. <laughs> Would you like the success to be something else? You know, no, if you no, want to make no. up some other you success, know I will say no, yes. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. No, this is that Jacob pulled the stick out of his butt already. Let chaos reign. Let's drop that and we'll see where the <laughs> it ends up. Mm. All right. Yeah, no, just nope. Mm -mm. Mm. <laughs> so um, the stiletto comes over toward you. Mm. You're spinning away, detaching your mm -hmm. hand. The knife drops, uh -oh. and then it bounces. Now, there are springs that are supposed to be involved in the blade coming out, but the springs are not working properly on this. Oh, no. So I think that this knife then springs wildly <laughs> towards someone. So I think the way we're going to find out who is on the receiving end of this knife uh -huh. is you're all being given the option of leaping out of the way. The three failures oh, are helping me to know how badly this is going to affect you. So, um, <laughs> this sounds like a violence roll and some sort of leaping out of the way of Ira's knife skill. Mm. Athletics? I would accept athletics. All right. Oh, I would be happy to roll that. Mm. All right. So whoever has the the highest number of successes minus failures, or sorry, who has the lowest number mm. is the one who's getting a knife. Ooh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they're getting a knife. Yeah. Uh, are we rolling these with uh, computer dice as well? Always. Yes, always. Okay. I'm just, whoa. Right. Yep. Okay. Start us off? Yeah. Uh, one, one success, no failures. Okay. So you're at a one. Yay! Two failures. Two failures. Okay, so you're at a negative two. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's seven dice. You said you're at a one, not you're the four. one. Okay, that's good. Peter die. I am the one. <laughs> sixes are successes. No, those. This yes. is a positive. So that's three sixes. And, and fives are also always successes. Those are not there. And it's ones or twos? Ones. Ones. Just ones. Then yeah. no failures. Yeah, if you're not rolling a negative node, you're probably going to have more successes than failures. Great. All right. And How about that? Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, just to double check. If my athletics is minus three and my violence is zero, it's three dice plus computer dice? Correct. Uh, that would be four failures for four me. Four failures. I think I get a knife. How exciting! I think you get a knife. <laughs> Ow! So, um... I'm sorry I'm relieved. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very ashamed of myself. Oh. So, uh, the, the knife has, um, come into your... My possession. Yes, we'll go with that <laughs> noun. That's a good noun. It is, <laughs> the, the knife is in your possession. Um... And uh, we're going to explain injury now, because you are injured. <laughs> so, oh, minus two even. We yes. were trying to get something done today. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a very easy mission. There is a thing you have to do before you start the mission. You're not at that yet. <laughs> no. um, so. Oh my god. So um, you have on your character sheets, most of you have four boxes. They say hurt, <clears throat> injured, maimed, dead. Dead. Most so, of us do. Yeah, you're yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm doing two points of damage to um, R Kennedy R. Absolutely. So. Ah, my foot. <laughs> yeah. 
So uh, you're going to check off two boxes. Okay. And until you are healed, you have minus two to your node 100% of the time. Okay, so which node? Any node? Any node. Node being number of dice. So that roll just now where it was a four, it would have been a six. Mm. A negative six instead of a negative four. Yeesh. But if it had been a positive four, it would have been a positive two. Okay. Because injuries suck. Yeah, that's irritating. Ow, my foot. Right through the side of my... How does that even happen that it stabbed me sideways <laughs> in the foot? It's a very narrow zone to hit. Ow! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you, oh. Did you get to pick the foot? Oh, can I have it be my left foot? Yes. Sure. Yeah. Saying yes. I actually just meant, did you get to pick the fact that it was your foot? Oh, I just figured it would bounce up and sort of like land sort of like okay. on my foot. Get your point. And the answer to that is yes. Too. Yes. Well, yeah. the answer is yes. It's yeah. like, okay. Ah! <clears throat> These shoes fit very well. How irritating. Now there's a hole in them. Oh, were those your fancy shoes those from were... back when you were assisting the concierge? They were my fancy shoes. I think I my still... red dress shoes in the correct size. Oh, boy. I think I still have some concrete foam left. We need to fix those. I think I'm okay for now. I do... Does any... Do you have any band-aids in the safety officer kit? Officer kit? My science officer's kit has no bandages. Does this team have a medical <laughs> officer? I do have adhesive-backed rotating beacon lights that could probably work like a uh, like a bandage. They are adhesive. Or at least to let everyone know you were bleeding. Oh, I think people will find out anyhow. At least it's not staining my shoes too badly. Ah! Is Nibot now cemented to the floor? Yes. Okay. It, and has a double coating of this oh, yeah. quick hardened foam. No, I knew there were two coats. Yeah. Don't worry. Because mm -hmm. two successes, well done. It's important to do your job well. Yes. Well, um, let's keep in mind that uh, if Nibot decides to reactivate itself, it will overheat and then explode. We should go. Mm, I, I would like to get my hand back before we go anywhere, though. Great. <laughs> Can you, can, you, can you go ahead and take care of that? I tried. Oh, here, take the knife out of the <laughs> Give it another go, Nibbles. The blade's out, right? Yeah, you can just take it. <laughs> okay, great. Yep. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's so red. It's so red. It's so red. You're allowed to touch red now, though. Comforting mm, red. That's very nice. Oh, you are just... I'm taking his pinky. <laughs> that's... That's it. This psychopath doesn't get his pinky. I'm t is that cool with you, Ian? I don't want to, like, is that okay? Absolutely. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right. Excellent. So, I mean, just uh, yep, give me, just like, violence. one success on violence, Melee, and... Great. Um, Melee? I was really hoping to use engineering. That uh, really <clears throat> didn't sound like an engineering no, thing no, I, you were look, describing. No, I wanted to very technically, holistically take off his um, <laughs> uh, pinky. It's melee? Uh, do you it, no, feel it's cool. that it's not melee? It's no. Uh, you were saying uh, I'm taking his pinky. That's no, honestly, I didn't. That sounds I, like I, I wasn't. Combat. I mean, it wasn't that gravelly. It was Jacob uh, no. saying that. It was yeah. Like I said it. Like it, no, it's melee. You're right, man. I'm not. I can't. <laughs> I'm not going to try to argue this. This. That's no. No. That's that's. Uh, so I. Uh, uh, got one success and three failures. Great. So one success <clears throat> means it works. Excellent. So um, would you like to describe the three failures or shall I? I'll do it, Dale. As you wish. God, you're a real son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and thus Nibbles very frustratedly is like, I would like my hand back. You will have your hand back. And Nibbles walks over going, oh no, no, pretty much holding this stiletto like a broadsword goes to uh, I cut the pinky off. It goes through the pinky and does the exact same thing that happened to your foot. Where the stiletto depresses and it bounces back and stabs Nibbles in the shoulder. Oh, that's okay. no Ooh. good. So have two points of damage and there's a knife in your shoulder. You're bleeding profusely, by the way. Oh, good. I'll put my foot up. I'll put it up on Nibbles. Well, it's just because it keeps all the blood together, right? Is there a team leader? Well, you're from here. Are there first aid stations in the in the in the transbot stations? Yes, we have a Brenda for that. Oh, <laughs> we'd like to go to the Brenda that fixes things. 
There was a problem with the clone making machine. There's a lot of Brendis. <laughs> it's gotta be really confusing. Thank you. Okay, so you're going to the Brenda who fixes things. Uh, yes. All right. What? No, no. Specifically, what I watched you. What fixes people and mm -hmm. mutants? Mm. <laughs> Not fixing. You end up in a mechanic. God damn, Dale. I've seen you. <laughs> I mean, I'm just gonna sit here and say yes. Yeah. No, I get it. I know. You devil. <laughs> All right, so you go find Brenda, mm -hmm. and and she's like, Nibbles, you're you're wearing red? You got promoted? I did, and you'll see that the red juice is coming out of me. I'm also seeing red. Red juice is coming out of those red shoes. Please help. Pass out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so Brenda um, has some medical kits. She's in infrared, and she's currently high. Um, and so she's looking at you guys and she's like, who do I do first? Is it you? I, I, I can fix myself. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to do that now? Uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of everyone else before I get into any shenanigans. Okay. You're, you're the leader. Oh yes, please. Here, Brenda. Brenda, first of all. Yes. Love the name. Yes. <laughs> Second of all, do you have any band-aids? I have a medical kit. Sick. Let's see what's in there. Yeah, let's. <laughs> so she she starts like putting stuff all over the place, and it's all great because she's infrared. Right. This is uh, Brenda E A A five. Okay. And um, five. Yeah. It's dangerous work being a medical you get officer. Get exposed to a lot of contaminants. All right, fine. Yeah, and so she um, is is like saying ooh a bunch because she sees that <laughs> your foot is still bleeding. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even though I have it up on top of nibbles. You know, <laughs> I can't you, object. You had to to move, or well, was oh, were once you... he collapsed, I re-elevated my foot. You know, All for, right. you know blood loss, you safety. Have a wheelbarrow. Yeah, we didn't bring it. We left it behind. <laughs> Why didn't we bring the wheelbarrow? I don't know. I gave it to the I gave it to the mobility officer. <laughs> well, it's back at the lockers then. Oh shit! Yeah. It doesn't have to be. It's okay. Nibot well, will take care of it. I'll oh go, god! <laughs> I'll go get it. <clears throat> so oh. I split the party and go do that. Oh, this is oh, my hell. lovely. Mm -hmm. So you fly off. Walk um, off. <laughs> I don't use my wings. As you wish. <gasps> oh, All this right. is my hell. So, <laughs> so Brenda has found a big wrapping of, like, bandage material. Oh, fantastic. And she loves it. And so she's wrapped your foot so that it's now, like, two and a half times its thickness, and she's working her way up your <laughs> leg. Right. Hey, Brenda, 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 that is awesome. I think we need to save some of the bandage for Nibbles <laughs> on his shoulder. So let's... Do you, let's just cut it off here. Hey, do you have? A, can I borrow some of that adhesive foam just to see? I, I could to use this it? knife. Certainly. Oh, no, God. no, 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 no. Here, here. Let's just um, save a little you bit. You know me, what? Though. I have another. Here, let's just use up this roll on your leg, and I'll give him a fresh roll. Could you get? Could you go back down to the foot though? You know, for extra padding. Sure. Yeah. So she keeps winding it down and gets down and around the foot, and. Um, I'm gonna wish you hadn't passed out. <laughs> you need to advocate. <laughs> I left. <laughs> so, um, at some point, the bleeding's gonna stop. It will have soaked through quite a few of the bandages. Okay. Um, but you this know, is the going to are work. actually kind of squishy. Yeah. So, like, you know, my foot's incredibly sore because it got stabbed somehow through the side, probably severing some things that I need. But right now, you know, the squish is nice. So, it squelches a little as I walk, but that's fine. As Brenda knows very well, um, the med kits have some beautiful drugs that will make you feel better. Mm -hmm. um, they're right there. She's going to go pay attention to nibbles, mm -hmm. but this is what the drugs are for. Mm -hmm. It's up to you whether you take them. Can I take them but hold on to them for later? Sure, have three. Perfect. Three X feely good drugs. Yes. If I was to give somebody more than one at a time, how feely good would they be? I feel really good, and says Brenda. They feel Brenda good. Excellent. Yes, yes, well they, said. they feel Brenda good. Yeah, it's a local idiom. So, um, she she carefully uh, she has something ready and she pulls the knife out and she gets the pressure on there because they make her go to refreshers all the time. 
you shouldn't need refreshers in Alpha Complex because your skills are downloaded directly into your cerebral cortex. But for Brenda, they make her go to refreshers. Um, so, and she is now, uh, you know, wrapping madly. There, there's a moment where she has to unwrap because her hand is still inside the bandages applying direct pressure. That seems but, to be a thing. Yeah. Um, eventually, she's used up an entire roll on nibbles and your bleeding's gonna stop and you're both back up to hurt. Oh, marvelous. Good. How much like a mummy do I look? I, I would say some. And um, <clears throat> if you would like a more precise description, you are welcome to make one. Um, I'm gonna go probably like, like top of the body, like almost all the way up. And like, so some of it's actually on the back of his jaws a little bit, so mm. he, like, is muffled slightly. Yes. Fun. Yep. Brenda? Yes! I have a question. I, I thought I could... I have questions, too! I, thought I, I have was... so many questions! What is it about this life? Like, we're full of questions. See, I just asked you one. So many questions. So many questions! Now can I give one to you? To yes! Me? You pulled my pinky out of my friend. Can you help reattach it? Okay, okay, and here's one for you. Why do the trolley bots always go in that direction except when they're coming in this direction? Ooh, okay, you give your answer first and then I'll give you mine. Okay, okay, I think it's because they don't go in that same direction. They hit each other in the middle and we only see the survivors. Okay, then I'm gonna give my answer to my question. Yes, you can reattach my pinky for me. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I'm we should go for bouncy bubble beverage. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wait, I'm not here. <laughs> right, because we split the party. Yeah. I love you, Beach. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's deal with that. Great. Um, I, I go back to where the wheelbarrow <clears throat> is. I'm making my way there. All right. Do I arrive? You do. Oh, thank goodness. Great. <laughs> there is a skid mark um, on the ground. Um, it looks like... Uh, when there was still a wheelbarrow here, someone was using it to try to bash the new concrete thing that's on the floor. But the concrete thing, you'll be happy to know, is unharmed. I am happy to know that. Excellent. Great. Is there a track leading off in any direction from the wheel? Because it made a skid mark? It made it... a skid mark when it was what, sort of bashing up against the thing. Cool. Um, I mean... I feel like when we're talking about a, a transbot station and you talk about the tracks, my mind immediately goes to the subway style tracks. But that's uh, yeah. Um, but you're talking about the a wheel mark from the wheelbarrow. I would be, yes. Um, just the stuff on the floor. Okay. <clears throat> if it were slow harden, you'd be laughing because there would have been some on the wheel, uh, but you the quick harden stuff. I would be laughing, you're right. Uh, okay. And now, because you're my good, dear friend, you're going to reunite the party. I am going to go back. I go right back. Hooray! Is everyone having bouncy bubble beverage, like they said? Yes, there were four bouncy bubble beverages acquired. Okay. One for Brenda and one for each of us. Yep. I wasn't here. Uh, <clears throat> since you are otherwise engaged with Brenda, yes. now you, you are both conscious... I am blissfully not. Uh, would you perhaps like to ask her uh, about how the closure of the yeast production facility has impacted her life? That would be one of three for those sweet, sweet, I don't want to get this wrong, XP points. Well done. Thank friend computer. So um, only <clears throat> one of you can, uh, I think it says on there only one that can only be done once. This, yeah, it can only be earned once, yes. Right, so yep. you're deciding that Ira R is going to be getting those Well, it says points? it says interview three infrared citizens uh -huh. about the closure. So is it the first to three? The first to three. Okay. Well, in that case, how about we not do that and give you a chance to do it next, rather than you telling Ian how to possibly get it. I was actually team. just hoping I would run into people on the, on the platform so I would interview them myself. <laughs> <laughs> but I did not, so... <laughs> and honestly, I'm just really concerned about getting my pinky reattached. Right. So, um, cool. l let me know when you yeah. wake back up. Yep. No problem. Um, you are endothermic, warm-blooded. Yes. Um, yep. <clears throat> so the was... cold isn't actually yeah, right. making me sleepy, sleepy. Just, yep. just so we're clear. Yep. <clears throat> um, yes. Now seems fine. Yep. Okay. But, yeah. Oh, I'm enjoying the hell out of this scene. That's, I, I'm not, you, you, yeah. Oh. Or we could go. 
What we do have, now that we're all bandaged up and everybody's awake, we do need to go to the HPD and MC office at EAA 942 uh, because we uh, have a little extra mission aside from checking on pump station EAA Rhino Niner. <clears throat> and we are so good at doing extra things, why don't we sign up to do one extra thing? We definitely should. Let's do that. All right. The more we can fix the better. So, who is leading the way this time? I think we're still going to have Nibbles lead the way because he's the local. Okay. Nibbles, Nibbles, wake up. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Can you Hi. walk? Huh? Can you walk? I was really going to ask to get in that wheelbarrow. <sighs> I have good news for you. We don't need to push the wheelbarrow anymore. So can you take us to the HPD and MC office now? Yes. I have an idea. Hmm. Give me that red reflective backpack that you've been wearing the entire time. Yep. Good. I open it up. Help me unbandage it. Yes. <laughs> get it out of the bandages. We Maybe it has it detachable off. like shoulder <clears throat> shoulder yeah. wraps. We we open the shoulder <gasps> things up. Are we making a papoose? It's happening. I get it. My wings through both sides and my arms through both sides. And I bend down. I honest to God thought it was going to take like three sessions before it, this happened. Just, I'm so happy right now. This is a very important question for me. <clears throat> Which side is the backpack on? Like, it's on. Is the pack front or is the pack back? The Please. pack is on my back. Okay. I feel like that's going to impede your wings. Just sure is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because if you wore it like a papoose, I think it wouldn't. Uh, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm giving you my interpretation. I might need of the... my. Oh, God. Okay. No, I I wear it on my front, which you is going to be very, cool. very hard to carry stuff. And we put then nibbles gingerly gets into <laughs> this backpack. How much do you weigh? Uh, I I actually have, would have fifty pounds. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Yeah, I don't Charging. know. I don't. I don't. I don't know. Uh -huh. I don't know. I have no. I mean, really light, light enough for you to fly. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> He, I know that. Okay, How I know that. How tall are you, Nibbles? Uh, like three five. But you are uh, <clears throat> Saurian, so you would also have hollow bones. He would Can I petition to make you weigh the same as Penelope, who's forty pounds. I whatever lets him fly with me. I will even take the same. In order to make that happen, I will take the same mutant thing that he has <laughs> with the brittle bones and get rid of. Uh, <laughs> oh my thing. god. Um, if you're telling me you have that, I'm obviously going to say yes. I'll have a new mutant card for you next week, then. Fantastic. Okay. He, I want that to happen he gets so in the, badly. He gets in the front. <sighs> so, um, yeah, okay. while you're thinking about whatever you're thinking about, uh -huh. what is the stuff that you unloaded from the backpack yes. so from that's the just back sitting on the ground now? Oh, as a matter of fact, like, I don't. It's uh, a uh, red thermos full of hot fun laced with Sleamy Time powder. Um, I will... Find somewhere to. There's jam. a mesh pocket. Yeah, a mesh inside. pocket on the side. Perfect. Yeah. Uh, so there's an air horn, a strobe light, one sharp pin, and a whistle. Did we put the strobe light on the outside <clears throat> of the wheelbarrow or not? Yeah, no, I definitely did. It was party time. Cool. Okay, so yeah, we have a whistle gone. and a sharp so, pin. Yeah, that's right. Can I take the whistle? Yeah, yeah. I, my gift to you. <laughs> and an air horn, almost empty and rather pathetic sounding. Ooh, I can put that in my science officer kit. Excellent. Great. That sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Hope I don't get these cans mixed up. <laughs> I want to try to not. We've lost <laughs> so much already. I don't want to lose any more. Mm. So dignity, patience, mm -hmm. <laughs> sanity. Another clone. Mm. Uh huh. All right. I think. All right. Take us to the MPD or whatever it is. Sorry. Right. Yep. Take us to the HPD MC office. Okay. Let's that is ride. The housing preservation and development and mind control. I don't want to get too far off track. Were you able to reattach my pinky, or do I need to make sure that I grab my pinky before I leave? No one has made a roll for me. Oh. Yes? I can do it! <laughs> Great! <laughs> so this is the pinky that was in violently severed indeed. with no, no, a knife. No, no, this is the pinky that was embedded in his shoulder. Yeah. Oh, no, I thought it was the knife, knife that was no, embedded in his shoulder. Yes, that's what he means. Yes, that's what he means. He would like Thank he would you like for spelling it out for us. Hey, he would like a stiletto pinky. Got it. Mm. 
I'll help you. Would it make you happy? It would make me very happy to have a pinky back. Excellent. Would it make you happy to have his pinky back? I think whatever Great. makes computer happy, and I think the computer's happiness depends on our happiness. So if it makes him happy, it makes me happy. A smile for us is a smile for friend computer. I always say it once before. It would make me incredibly happy to see you jam a knife in his hand. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to jam a knife in his hand. No, I'm, I, so to be clear, I will make the stiletto his pinky. So to be clear, you are making a roll yes. with the goal of making the stiletto his pinky. Correct. All right. Excellent. Uh, so I would like to propose that that would be a mechanics uh, engineer. I concur. Fantastic. My best roll. What? what? Don't, don't forget the computer dies. Sorry. No, I, 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 I won't. Okay. I won't. I took the stick out of my butt. I I'm, yeah, I'm ready. I'm, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, this is this is my this it. is my hell. <gasps> We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. I spent a moxie. We're fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Don't I even like worry fine. about it. Fine is good. Yeah. Fine is great, Beach. Look, I'm gonna roll all these dice again. And it's gonna be fine. See, this is fine. Fine is great. I'm so happy to have such talented friends. Excellent, <laughs> excellent. We're friends now because I got two successes and one failure and no in computer. So, we're fine. We're fine. <clears throat> so, do you wanna tell me what that means? Is that okay? Yeah! Excellent. You now have a pinky that you can like, Richard, you know, a, a Detraction shiv and someone. yeah, you Hooray. can you can shiv someone with your pinky. It's functional. <laughs> yes, it is absolutely functional. Uh, once <laughs> once the sound it makes. Once a session, it pops out when Dale wants. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> is that too much? No. One, no. 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 Then one failure though, because that's that's just giving him a barrel of monkeys with rabies. I mean, <laughs> you were working with faulty equipment. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Like, the, you have successfully installed the equipment provided, which was a faulty stiletto. This... So, yeah. May, if I may. Please. I had asked the DM if something was fair, and that was my mistake. Mm. <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, I think the way we do things is you just tell me how things are going to be, and then I make it fair. Fantastic. Good. I'm still sweating. <laughs> I'm whole. <clears throat> now you can make holes. All right. Maybe. So, um, we're, we're nearly an hour and a half into this two-hour stream. Does this mean you're going to start the thing you're going to do before you start your mission? Because at the end of the night, the mission is over. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. So, um, housing, preservation and development, and mind control? That's, we arrive there. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, th that is not, like, I'm not going to say whether you arrive, because I haven't been told where your guide is taking you. Uh, I'm telling you where they're mm -hmm. asking you to yes. take them. So, you have, you have asked Nibbles to go to... EAA 942. Okay. Do we, again, out of, out of character, do we want to try to do this thing yeah, or let's no? Yeah, absolutely. When I say this thing, to be very clear, because that seems to be very important at this table, uh, are we doing the main thing or are we doing the side thing? We need to get more things done. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. on board. Yep, we're doing the side thing. Yep. Choo choo. Okay. <laughs> so, choo choo meaning you're getting on the railroad and we're doing the plot? I know, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm on board with this. This. We're going to We're where right. Kathleen wants us to go. Yeah, we are. So, okay. 100%. So Kathleen <clears throat> wants to go to yep. office EAA slash 942. Yes. And that's where you're taking Yes, it. indeed. Straight away. Okay. Well, then you get there. Um, do you meet any interesting people along the way? Oh, resident native of this sector? Uh, I, I, think, I, think we'd, I think we'd like to just get there. I'll say uh, hi right. to Brenda and Brenda and Brenda later. Okay. Yes. Yes. Hmm? Just do this. I, we, I, well, I'm a... All right. I've yeah. been talking a lot, and I want to give other people All right. Tch, All right. things to. Yeah. I, I don't. Feel I don't want to be a doofbag. I feel you. Yeah. 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 It's, it's always my challenge. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
um, you're getting to housing, preservation, development, and mind control. Mm -hmm. And they are expecting you. In fact, they expected you quite some time ago. <laughs> and when you get there, um, there is a robot waiting for you. And your HUDs give you uh, the robot's name. It's KM-8-7. And the robot's like, Hi, I'm Kim. Uh, I've been assigned to document um, your efforts as troubleshooters for the hit show, Shooters. <gasps> How exciting. That is exciting. So, I'm told we're going to shoot some trouble at a pump? Yeah, to the pump station, I guess, Kim. <gasps> now, Kim, we also have some stuff to do it's apparently this. There is yeast production here in this sector. Yeah. There used to be. What happened to it? Uh, they shut down the yeast production and put a bunch of new construction inside the old facility. Oh, we do. We had a we had a list here that we have to put up a plaque on the former door of the yeast production facility. Oh, is the plaque here? Do we have a plaque? I mean, I brush regularly. Mm. I'm, I, I'm just. Here with my camera. What, what does the plaque need to say? It just says, put up a plaque on the former front door of the yeast production facility commemorating its time in operation. <clears throat> Kim, do you remember, as Jacob, or J Nibbles, Yes. <laughs> as, a, as a resident of this sector, do you know how long the yeast production facility was in, uh, was in, was going for? I do, as long as I've been alive. So at least Five years. Perfect, five years. Well, what a plaque that says five years of yeast uh, production. I've yes, got, indeed. I've got enough stuff here that I think I can make a plaque. All right, great. Well, we'll put up a plaque <clears throat> later then. Uh, but it's going to be made out of quick foam that you then carve while it's oh, still... Yeah, I was just going to say yeast that, right in finger. That sounds so simple to do that we should just go do that I first. I think we should. We should go do that first. <laughs> we should go to the yeast production facility. Uh, what do they call it again? P4RA-DI5E. We should go there first. Immediately. Agreed. Mm. So the new troubleshooter offices were actually built inside the old yeast um, production facility. Oh. Like the more than half the sector was was taken up by this yeast production. You fed a lot of other sectors from here, mm -hmm. um, and then you know it just got too cold, mm -hmm. and they were just spending too much money on temperature regulation. But they found that other sectors didn't have as much of a cold problem. Mm. I mean, everything is cold all the time for some reason, probably nothing. Mm. Um, but it's too cold here, so they're reclaiming that space for other things, such as troubleshooter offices. Um, and the yeast is being done elsewhere. Was that your question? No, but that's really good information. Okay, yeah. Yeah. it's stuff you would know. Yeah, that's excellent. I say all that. Okay. So this is so the former front door of the yeast production facility is in fact the front door of where we were just were because that's the HPDMC office. So um, yeah, I mean it's it's not the front door of that office, but there was a great big place where the yeast came in and out. There were like these big garage doors, and I, you, it's very nearby. You I would know where they are. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Oh, okay. right this way. Great. Uh, one second. Uh, can I grab uh, Kim? Yes. Can I f grab from the office? Do you have any paper? Probably. Can I grab a piece of paper? Yes, I'll get you a forms requisition form. Perfect. I'll just use the back of that. Oh, you can't deface the form. Hmm. Let me see here. Hmm, how can I get a piece of paper quickly? So if one were to have, and I'm just throwing this out there as a hypothetical, mm -hmm. uh, like illegal food bars. What are the wrappers made of? Would depend on the type of food bar. Cool. Like, I don't know, wax like, paper? So, it could be. Yeah, yeah, the, just the, all hypothetically. There are certainly illegal food bars that are wrapped in wax paper. Excellent, excellent. Uh, hypothetically. 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 Um, so I might have a solution to this problem if nobody says anything ever. <laughs> But, but why would why would anybody who works as a <clears throat> troubleshooter for friend computer ever have an illegal food bar? I'm sure that's no problem at all. Yep. 
he said in front of the robot with all of the camera equipment. I didn't say anything about a food bar. I said I might have a solution to this problem. I didn't mention food oh. bars in yeah. front of the robot with all of the camera equipment. Yep. Um, I thought we were just having this conversation. No! Yeah. God! You gotta listen to his voice, because he switches uh. the voices, right? When we're doing, when he's out of character and in character. God, I'm sorry I'm like this. No, don't cool. be. I'm, I, I was like this for some little plateau. Yeah. Yeah. Which you can also listen to on their YouTube channel, youtube.com slash loading ready run. <laughs> it's <Internal> plugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! All right, moving forward. <sighs> Woo! Um, so, uh, I will. How dangerous is it to get from here to there and back again? Oh, probably not dangerous at all. Oh, man, I don't want to split the party, though. But Why would you split the party? We could all go together. Yeah. With the robot lady shooting shooters who's going to be coming with us. Well, she doesn't have to be... She's, she have a, does she have a 360 cam? I w she has a very complicated camera system. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to analyze it? I do, actually. All right. So I think that's mechanics and then some sort of robot analysis skill. Yep. So uh, you know what I think it is? Is that either science or alpha complex knowledge. Because I would know, if I worked in Alpha Complex, I'd know an awful lot about Alpha Complex, and I'd know an awful lot about the robots we use in Alpha Complex. So you can then know generally about the mm. sorts of things. Yes, yes, yes. Can I make a pitch? Shooters is a, is a like, Show. integral part of Alpha Complex, correct? Yeah. And I didn't make it up. It's canonically yeah. a thing yes. that shows about troubleshooters. And as somebody who knows so much about Alpha Complex is probably a huge fan of the show, mm -hmm. so much so that they would know what kind of equipment they would use on the show and therefore mm -hmm. know about the equipment. Not that we know anybody that does that. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, if I'm doing that, then that's mechanics and then alpha, alpha, com complex. alpha complex knowledge, which gives me a plus six. Six dice and the computer dice, which I volunteer this time without having to be told. Well done. Hey, buddy. I see three successes. Yep. Three successes. And one fail. Oh, and one fail, yeah. And and one fail. I thought that was a four. The glare. Yeah. Okay. Three successes and a fail. Okay. So... You you know that things that you have seen done mm -hmm. in shooters mm -hmm. is you have seen the camera bot um, do some imaging through even thin walls, yeah. um, and you have seen the camera bot use thermal imaging um, in a completely dark area. Okay. Mm. You, um, th those. Sorry, you're going to add something. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I was, long story short, no, yeah. this isn't going to work. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Yep. It's just for a piece of paper. <laughs> oh, you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, oh it's the, just for a piece of paper? Yeah. yeah. Oh, the backstop well. slipped. Yeah. 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 We're just trying to find a piece of paper, right? Yeah. That's to make the plaque. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even need that. Why? Just spray quick foam on the wall on the wall and write yeast. That's not a plaque, though. I said it's a plaque. It has to commemorate how long it was in production, <clears throat> commemorating its time in operation. If you... In memorial. Yeah, if you, if you spray... Hardening foam, quick hardening mm -hmm. foam. And then you very quickly, like, you spray a little bit, and you yep. write the word yeast, and yep. you spray a little bit, and you go five years, like, really fast, yeah. and you just smooth it out, it would look like a permanent installation. Exactly, and it's going to stay there as long as someone you know, chips it off. I mean, we're not going to be or able to get it off that box. we just get a piece of paper and write on it with a pen and use the spray foam to stick it to the door. Where are we going to get a pen? <clears throat> can get one from the... You can order one. Three XP points. Ah. <laughs> Oh, I mean that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. Nice job. Yeah. Well, oh, it's a damn. pencil, but huh? It's well, okay. I mean, we, oh, I mean, if you if you don't want to spend any XP, we do have that quick yeah, hardening uh, foam. Any uh, what? I'm sorry, XP points. Oh yes. Thank yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you want, to, if you don't want to spend any XP points, I'm sweating again. Um, uh, we have one sharp pin and the quick hardening foam, and we could write in it with the pin, if you wish. Mm. Do you think that would count, O oh, fearless leader? Merely offering suggestions. That's it. If we need the paper, uh, Kim. Yeah. Did you feel warm enough? Did you feel that you're properly insulated from the the, the temperature changes to be able to have your, uh, your your infrared systems work at optimal efficiency? I have just been serviced. Thank you. Oh. Isn't that nice? It it's is so good. very nice. It's so good. 
So we're going to the pump station. We sure. Let's go to the pump station. To the yes, pump station. Are. Pump station EAA Rhino Niner. I love how you say that. That's what's written down. Or right, it's RHO. Renaner. Well, I. Anyhow, to the pump station. <laughs> we have to make sure it's operating optimally. As I say, and strike a little pose towards Kim. <laughs> <laughs> Flip my hair. I think that's Kim. Show off my well-fitting clothes. <laughs> but but could, could you take us by a cup, a hot fun station on the way? I'm feeling a little bit peckish, and I think you might be down on fluids. Yes. Hot fun, real quick. Like yes. a quick, quick. There are Ven bots wandering around. You know where they hang out. Yep. Yep. Uh, there's there's a Ven bot meetup right down this way. It's just on the way. Magnificent. Yep. <clears throat> yes. So we will go and do that. Okay. And then to the thing. So hot fun is, um, y you know, at, at red it's not very exciting. It's like some tea or some coffee or some sort of hot beverage, um, maybe soup-ish. There would be several options here you could sample. Mm. I believe hot fun is two XP points. Mm -hmm. It is. Uh, I don't have everything there, right? Yeah, it is. I, I, I did see the thing on the list. Cool. <laughs> yep. Okay. So, so uh, any of you who wish to interact with this vend bot um, may do so, and you may buy some hot fun. I, I don't know where we're going with this. I'm just saying. Oh, yes. I, I uh, think I think we're just trying to finish the buy hot fun from three different vend bots. There are three different vend bots, and you can only earn it once. Whoever gets to buy three three first. Uh, oh, wins. so this is a race. Yes. I'll oh. Buy some hot fun for everyone. So sweet. I will buy three hot funs or from three different Venn bots. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So who is trying to race to to get these three? Um, I think it's you and me. <laughs> By default, it's also me. Oh, great! That I, okay. I, I think I, I think what we really need to do is trip over each other a little bit more to find to uh, really define this <laughs> mission. Well, and really well, find, figure while out this is going on, yes, I'm going to talk to Kim and I'm going to be like. Hi, Kim. So not only are we here to check on a pump station, we're also here to talk about yeast production in Sector EAA. I think it's important to remember that although this is Troubleshooter's offices now, this was once a hotbed of fermentation. There was a lot of gassy action going along. This was the bread basket of paradise. And it's great, really great. And I just want to remember the posterity of the yeast production here. <laughs> and I'm going to gesture grandly around the surroundings. Look, yeast made these boys strong. All right, so after <laughs> Where you... am I going? Violence Athletics? Sure. Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> you go first. What did you roll? Oh, I got, uh, let's see, three successes and... Uh, oh, no, sorry, wrong, wrong direction. Two successes. And uh, Two fails. three fails. Cool. I rolled a single success mm -hmm. and the computer. Oh. You. Oh. All right. Are you still in the pouch? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You have, you, uh, you know, earlier, I just want to, I just want to recall. Earlier, we learned about this thing called Moxie. Mm -hmm. I just, if, if you wanted. <laughs> I have to risk a success. No, it's yeah. So I don't fall over you know and crush you. Right. Yeah, no, that's, yep, there, yeah, yep. All, All right. right, I mm. will. Tell me what you're doing, and I'm saying yes. I will burn a moxie to re-roll. As you wish. Though my pen is all out of ink, so I'll need to borrow somebody else's pen to burn that moxie. I rolled a success and a fail. <laughs> That's still better. <laughs> it's very okay. delicate. So, um, I've lost track. What's going Are you having hot funds from the third Ben Bond <clears throat> while this is going on? No, I'm trying to mug to the camera. All right, so I think that's working for you. Um, I'll let these two have their fight. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you're in there, you're getting crushed, and we don't have a computer? Is that correct? No computer. No, computer. no computers. All right. No computers. All right, so. A uh, single success and a single failure. I rolled the failure on the on the computer. Two die. successes, three failures. Okay, so I feel like um, you're going to win on the first machine. Mm-hmm. And then um, when you see that he's at the first machine, you can either 
wait behind him mm -hmm. or go to one of the other two machines. I'll definitely try one of the other machines. All right, so the next machine you go to is actually a cold fun Venbot. Oh. But there is a third one. Let's check that one. All right, so um, you can, uh, you, you're, you've paid for your hot fun. Yes. And um, you, yeah, please. You can wait for it to um, pour, or you can be like, well, I bought that. I'm going to race him to the other bot, uh, Ven bot. It was only to buy hot fun from three different vendors, not to actually consume it. Point. So I will run to the other Ven bot. All right, let's see who gets my, to the other Ven bot. With my 40 pound weight on the front of my body. Yes. Yes. <laughs> crunch, <laughs> crunch, 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 crunch. Ow, 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 ow. I mean, you haven't, no, you haven't fallen much, over yet. No, I'm, I'm, I'm much lighter now. Yeah. Yes. I'm much lighter now. From the blood loss. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we also, we have a, we have a, we have a, actually, you know what? Like uh, Cool. So we run up to the machine. Yes. Yes. You each run up to this other, like you've, you've paid for your hot fun. Yeah. You looked at the cold fun machine and then you're ignoring this and you're both beelining for the final machine. Mm. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Ira R. I'll make you a deal. You let me vend out of this machine, and I will give you this hot fun I have right here. Oh, and please. I hold up a red bottle full of hot fun. Please? <laughs> I, no, I... Oh. Could you perhaps give me another hot fun, and then I'll let you go the, ahead of me. This is the only one I have on me. I will give you this hot fun. Well, please, pr go ahead and, and get a hot fun, and then we can go ahead and you can give me two hot funs. <laughs> Fine. I go to the third machine. Is it a hot fun machine? It is. Oh, great. I vend for a second hot fun. All right. Great. So this has cost you a total of four XP this points. This cost me four XP points, yes. And I hand him the hot fun that I just got, plus the hot fun that I have in this bottle. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Now, please, go ahead and get your, your last hot fun. You should try that hot fun I first. Give it a try, yeah. I drink the hot fun. All right. Is this the fresh hot fun or the thermos hot fun that you're drinking? The fresh hot fun. All right. It's, it, it's fine. It's fun. nice and hot. Fun. Mm. And remember, fun is mandatory. What do, you think of the, what do you think of the other hot fun? I should give it a try, too, I suppose. Limited I mean, you've just thermos. had a, a whole cup full of, so, I mean, you I, know. Growing boy, we've been working. We've been working hard. I deserve this second hot fun. Agreed. I'll that hot fun has sleepy time powder. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed the voice. <laughs> <laughs> that was his out of character voice. I, yeah. <laughs> okay. So now, while he's well, he's probably dazed. <laughs> I mean, y you know, soporifics take a while to, <sighs> to kick in. Are there but, any more places to buy hot fun? I mean, there are, you've used the three Venbots that were congregating oh, here. Oh, shit! <laughs> what was the point? You need... I don't know. I don't know. So I'm, <laughs> I'm talking... Meanwhile, I am boring Kim with just talks... Uninformed yeast talks. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that yeast is vital? To sexer, E A A, <laughs> or it was before they got rid of it. But we are here to commemorate its posterity. <laughs> yeast is vital. I love so, that. Yeast is vital. Mm -hmm. That's going on the plaque. <laughs> <laughs> yeast was vital. <laughs> oh, it's quick set, so don't get your hopes up. <laughs> so, so um, hey, just out of curiosity, so it's a bottle of hot fun. Does it have a wrapper? Uh, so they had a thermos of hot fun, mm -hmm. but the hot fun Venbots give you like a little cup, like a coffee m vending machine. Like in the old days. Is there any, is there, is there any garbage beside the vending machine? Uh, sure. Of empty hot fun cups? Sure. I'm going to take a cup and I'm going to unroll it so it's a piece of paper. Okay. Waxy paper. <laughs> so you were right. There would be some waxy paper. Nailed it. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just love hot fun. I just whisper to you, you understand that that's going to kick in sometime critical, right? Oh, absolutely. Uh, okay, good job. Mm -hmm. There's. <laughs> of, I regret my decision. <laughs> so I regret your decision too. Sorry. I, I want to give you the sometime critical. Mm -hmm. uh, there's an explosion <laughs> nearby. Oh my god! Oh my goodness. Is it? Pump station, right on it. <laughs> Just exploded. Uh, um, so, the pump station we're apparently calling Rhino Niner um, <laughs> is in a different direction. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. 
We only had to check to make sure it was working optimally, and then we wouldn't be able to check the one box we need to check. With my localized knowledge, what exploded? Or at least in the direction of? Um, so last time <clears throat> you were in that direction, everything was still under construction. Okay. So if there is some sort of facility there, you haven't visited it. You remember it from the days when it was a big open area in the yeast production facility. There were vats and all vats. sorts of other things. Okay. But as far as you know, there's nothing over there. So it's probably fine. You can probably just ignore it because there's nothing there. If it's construction, it's just slightly less finished. But I guess ultimately it's up to the team leader. Yep. Wow. <laughs> That's probably not supposed to happen. But our mission here is to check on this pump station and make sure it's working optimally. And like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go do. <laughs> <laughs> Explosions do mean things to fix, though. Ooh, I agree. Yes. Mm, I guess it would it would make it probably would make a better episode of uh, of troubleshooters, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah, they want to see us fix stuff that's happening as it's happening. And really, if it's if we're just checking to make sure something's working, then it must be working. Otherwise, they wouldn't send us. Would there have been anyone in that area in danger, you sociopaths? There could I mean, have been some You can't people. see the, like, it's a distance, just right? Yeah, just like, yeah. in general, like, it was a big open area. Now it would have been construction. I mean... Or I... Yes? You, you, you had heard there was some construction that was going to be happening there. Oh, okay, okay, all right. So that could just be a construction accident. Could be. It's probably not. All right, fine. Let's go check it out. I'm... Oh, the life of a troubleshooter is never done. That... She says, mugging to Kim. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> To the site of the explosion. Yep. Cool. Mm. What? Kim was shooting shooters, right? <clears throat> yeah. Yes. Yes. Which is just the the life of us. She yeah. has no. It's a reality TV show about has, troubleshooters. She has no set mission. She's just supposed to follow us. I mean, her that's her mission. She okay. does have a set okay. mission. Just, yeah. She's filming an episode about your mission. She's not trying to achieve a. Uh, I need you to do this. She's not going to direct us. She's just going to follow us. Um, she has a bunch of achievements, and you don't know what they are. Okay. Um, I'm give, telling you she has those because you rolled so well on your knowledge of shooters earlier. Uh, makes sense, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Sorry, I just need to have that for myself. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's go check out this explosion. I will... Because we're such busy troubleshooters. Yep. What's more troublesome than an explosion? <clears throat> Better not be traitors. Well, Nibbles point us in the right direction. I'll start walking us towards there. Yeah. Oh, it's where the explosion happened. <laughs> Then I'll go in the direction <laughs> of the explosion. Good. Can just we... like it, like from the if there's a shot from behind Blake, it's just like two tiny claws, <laughs> like this. <laughs> yeah. So as as Kim is hovering behind. Behind. You, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Christ. All right. We arrive at the site of the explosion. Well, you get pretty close. <gasps> yeah. Um, <clears throat> there is a lot of dust that has been raised by all this. Um, you do hear some shouting from up ahead. So if you like, you can. Revise your statement about you arriving there if you... We arrive close to the state sure. to the explosion and listen to the shouting. Okay. So, um... There's like, okay, uh, yeah, dislodge that beam! Yeah, a little bit... Uh, no, no, get out of the way! Thunk! Um... Okay, you alright? Okay, yeah, that, that'll be fine. Uh, watch the strings! Watch the strings! And, um... Someone's coughing a bunch, which I'm not gonna do into the microphone. Um... How much dialogue do you want me to just sort of? There are keep... a lot of. Are there a lot of people around here doing different like, things? Like three or four people. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's been an explosion. But it, does it? Is it like a construction explosion, or was it actually like this was an uncontrolled explosion? And there... more the. Give me a brains demolitions check, and I'll give you that information. All right. Well, that's good. Could you describe them? Uh... Physically, what do they look like? Oh, oh, I didn't think you were within line of sight yet. Oh. I thought this was, like, you you heard there was shouting and you stopped. Oh, okay. W I... Was that your intent? Oh, my intent was to sort of listen as we walked. Okay. But, you know, so we're, we're getting closer. Maybe we can now see them now we've heard the, the stuff. Okay. So you heard this happening and then you sort of walked around a corner or something. Maybe we, maybe we even hustled up because we heard, mm -hmm. you know, an explosion and we heard voices yelling and say, oh, God, that's fine. Oh. Trot, trot. Oh. One fail, two success. Yeah, two successes and one failure, and uh, and it, it equals up to zero of plus four and a minus four. So I rolled eight dice, plus the computer dice. 
Wow. Yeah, so zero. <laughs> okay, so you had a whole ton of successes and a whole ton of failures. I mean, I had two successes and one failure. Oh, okay. But it, yeah. Oh, I see. When you were yeah. saying eight, I'm like, wait, Sorry. what? Okay. I had a four I, and a minus four. And got it. <clears throat> absolute values, right? Yes. So yes. four minus four is a zero. zero. Oh, wait, hang on. So you just the, rolled the computer dice. I just dice. rolled right. the computer dice, which came out All to right. a four, which is nothing. <clears throat> So nothing <laughs> happened. Right, I'm so sorry, I can't do basic math tonight. Okay, so you have no information about whether this sounded like a planned explosion. No, but risk some stress from the computer altogether. <laughs> okay, so that sounds great. Yep. And um, you guys are walking around the corner and you're looking. Mm -hmm. So there are a bunch of guys in gray jumpsuits, so probably, but not necessarily infrared. I mean, you could wear gray jumpsuits if you wanted to. You just have to make sure you designate somehow that you're red. Um, and they are, uh, one of them has a saw and is sort of randomly trying to figure out how to deconstruct the construction. Um, you can see where they blew up a bunch of stuff at the base of what was going to be a multi-story Perhaps a tower, perhaps some sort of other building, but this is this is a large open area um, that was being divided, and these four guys are trying to get rid of the stuff that's blocking. And they have some weird sort of rectangular things, and one of them is uh, has a long string attached to one of them. Oh no, I know what this is. And um, Yes, some of you have before encountered a terrorist group known as the Gorilla Kite Enthusiast Club. Oh, Jesus. And they are some hardcore terrorists who resent the fact that the computer doesn't just let people do the leisure activities that they want to do when they want to do them. Like, they are very against the regulation that happens. Um... And so they are anarchists, and they often just go places and fly kites. And this was a place where they would come and fly their kites in the ventilation areas, um, but the construction is preventing that. Mm -hmm. And they see you, and they're like, oh, bunch of reds. And then they see Kim, and they're like, wait a minute. This is for shooters. We're going to be on shooters. And one of them has a chain, and one of them has an a saw, and he's coming at you with the mm. saw. Uh, okay. Would you care to put me down now, please? So, if you think you can run faster than I can, sure. Um, <laughs> you can you can do that on your turn, but I'm going to yeah. explain initiative first. Oh, good. So, um, you're going to be looking at your cards now. <clears throat> you have everybody has action cards, uh, and they should all have an action order number on them. Higher is faster. Um, you all have a card that on the back says mutant power. Um, your mutant power on the front describes your wings. Your mutant power on the front describes your dino body. Mm -hmm. And I'm not 100% sure, but I think your two mutant cards are both blank on the front, so they probably don't have an action order number. But... Um, if you want to, you can use that as your number. Some of you might have equipment that has an action order number. Uh, sometimes the action order is an expression, like violence minus one, or something like that. So you would then get the number. So when I am doing combat, um, I'm going to, you're all going to be choosing a card. I'm going to give you five seconds to choose a card. We're not starting that yet. Um, we're going to start at 10, and I'll count down. And when I get to whatever your action order number is, um, you say, oh, that is me. I would like to go now. Uh, if you and someone else are both saying that because you're both going on action number six or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, the first person to correctly say the other character's full name, not nickname, um, gets to go first. Everybody. <laughs> so. I'm letting everybody cheat the same way I'll do. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> it's fair. Yeah. So you have five seconds to put a card 
in front of you and say, this is the card I'm using this turn. If it's an action card, you can just use it for your initiative number and not do what's in front. If you do that, it goes back in your hand. If you use the card for what the card does, uh, you discard it. So uh, you have five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Anyone who hasn't put a card in front of them can still act, but you're acting on zero, and you can only do a basic action that doesn't use a card. Now that said, some of your action cards have little diagonal arrows on them. Those can also be done as reactions. You don't have to have chosen the card. You can react to someone else's <coughs> action by playing one of those diagonal cards. Is anyone going on 10 or 9? I'm 10. Wow. So uh, please read your full card. Take your time. How, long, how many of these guys are there? Four. Excellent. Mm. One each. So they're running at us. Yeah. Okay. They're excited. They're going to be on shooters. Oh, damn. So read the card out, please. Yeah, take your time. Action order 10. Describe what you're planning to do. You'll take the rest of the round to prepare your action. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you using the card, or are you just going on I'm 10? I'm just going on 10. Oh, well, then, never mind. I'm sorry. Right. I, I okay. misunderstood. Yeah, okay. I didn't know if I was supposed to declare the card or, or, or not, depending on what it's going to do. But I, I declare 10. Okay. Because my first action is, I'm going to take off this backpack so I can get lighter, so I can run the hell away. Okay. So you sorry, take buddy. off That's cool. the backpack. You don't have to roll. <clears throat> you take oh. the backpack off. Yeah. You can either have it in your hands and put it down ni nicely next round, or you can drop it for free. Injured. I, I, I put it down nicely. Well, then you'll have to do that next turn. Really? I have teeth. Oh yeah, you do. I take the backpack off, and I, I let it. I I huck it at the guys who are coming at me. Okay. So I am I am yeeting a forty <laughs> pound because I have no accuracy. Human being. A forty pound human being that looks suspiciously like a dinosaur. Uh, with a very big jaw and teeth at the guys who are running towards me. All right, now, does this backpack have some sort of quick release? Can you do this as your action this turn, just sort of grab and throw? Because it's because it's on my front, and therefore it would have gone, gone over my arms, I can literally just launch it like that. All right, so... It's this, not going to be accurate. <laughs> this sounds like a violence throw tiny dinosaur roll. Maybe violence die. athletics? Sure. Great. Ah, uh, in... Is there a, say, a thing as free action in this system? Are you letting Nibbles know that Nibbles is going to fly by you, but not in the way he wants? You're going to hear me yell, look out. Okay. <laughs> now, you, if you have a reaction card, you can play that now. Any of you can play a reaction oh. card. Uh, I, I don't know if you no. want to. I'm not telling you to. I'm just making sure you understand. This is our first combat, so I want to yeah. make sure you get it. No, I... Not yet. Kay. Hey, uh, two failures. Oh, I would like to play that reaction card. Okay. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, surprise bot. Uh, action order four and the little arrow, that yeah. means reaction. That, that so means the reaction re is going now. Yes, the reaction is going now. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> describe a bot who is useful to the action or detrimental to the action, your choice. GM has veto over your description. The NPC gives plus one dice uh, so long as they're useful backslash impeding. If the GM is particularly pleased by your description, they give uh, plus two slash minus two dice this round and plus one slash minus one dice thereafter. I would like to boost your action uh, oh. because this was the former construction with like all the vats and everything like that, mm -hmm. right? So uh, something that they had not done is effectively gotten rid of all of the extra like yeast extraction bots to regulate flow and things like that. Mm -hmm. So there's some of them are still crawling on the ceiling, some of them are still like crawling around, and they have like high powered fans upon them. And there is a detriment in their programming where if you say yeast designation and a direction, they will just blow in that direction. You have a lot of specific knowledge about this because you've lived here. I have, yeah. and, and I worked, used to work yeah. in this yeah. facility. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, I have yeah. very specific knowledge about this. So I would like Nibbles to be like, yeast, north! <laughs> and then have one of the bots go like, Voo! So I, I think it would be more like a, a, a direction, but uh, not like a, a compass direction, but a heading, yeah. Yeah, a heading, um, yep. So, like, 76. Yeah, 76, yep. And, um... Yes. Yep. That's going to give him um, a couple of extra dice. Me specifically. Yes. Okay. 
green dice. Mm. And we got this moxie thing. Too. We do! Throwing that out there. Yeah! Uh, two successes. All right. So that was two <laughs> successes and two fails that we're at right now? Is that yes. correct? Yes, Are you happy is. with that? That seems fine. I think I, it's going to be a push. So, yeah, I, I'm, fa I'm happy with that. All right. Okay. <laughs> so you have thrown this, um, this backpack with a person in it at one of the people charging you. Definitely away from my body towards people who are charging at me. All right. Yes. Now, there were a couple of failures, so I feel like you've got a bit of a spin on it. Yes, I think I would. <clears throat> because I would have pushed up, so you would be tumbling backwards. Ass over tea kettle, as it were. Mm. All right. Now, <laughs> there were a couple of successes. I'm still honestly not 100% sure what you wanted to have happen, but you've got two successes of that happening. Yeah. So tell us what that is. So... <laughs> so... Nibbles... Uh... Figuring out what's happening, very quickly, uh, <laughs> calls for a bot that is directly behind, that is, that is behind us to activate, mm -hmm. to blow him along a heading, to give him additional force blowing forward. And he is very light when being wafted through the air, apparently. Well, at, I'll he, write that card this week. <laughs> at, at 40 pounds, he, and he has, he has a fair amount of, like, oomph, obviously, because whatever I've been able to do to get him to leave, leave my... Yeah, like, that's a lot of air that's blowing to Yeah, so it has to be a pounds. lot of air to actually push him along even further. Um, which is going to... You know what, actually? Is it, did we say that was two failures on that? I or, mean, it was or, two failures and two successes, and you know, one of the failures was I put a spin on it and I hadn't done <coughs> okay, anything with one, the other one. One failure is we put a spin on the thing. The success is that the, he, he announces the bot to activate. They. And, sorry, they, they announce that the bot should activate. And blow uh, Nibbles more, faster, into the guys who are running towards them. Uh, which, it does activate. Mm -hmm. And Nibbles uh, is able to collide. Here's a second success. Nibbles is able to collide, mouth open, onto head or body. Hmm? Oh. Head or body of the guy who's... Definitely not a saw. Definitely not the saw, but no. the head or the body. Uh, I think the body, like the, like a good chunk yeah. out of the neck. Gets there. his gets his teeth right inside of the guy's gets his teeth right inside of the guy's neck. The side that doesn't have the saw, he gets it on the other side. Here's the other failure. Uh huh. That mm. fan was directly behind us, and my wings were open. Yeah. Oh. And I'm also light bodied. <laughs> okay. And anything that can blow something at 40 pounds to give it a lo enough loft to blow it a little bit further to kind of do that would also probably catch my wings and. Blow me forward into what's going on as well. Okay. If you want to finish that, I'd be more than happy to let you. Well, uh, why don't we say that that is a thing that is ongoing while we find out what's happening in the rest of the mm -hmm. combat round, and at some point, one of the five of us, um, or Illustrates perhaps it? Heather on the comments, will yeah, will decide what's where it, that gets interjected. Great. Um, I think for just getting in and getting a chomp, if you do an attack, I'm just going to give you an extra die. And, and that'll represent the the getting in and getting Beautiful. on the All right. Excellent. So that was 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Me. <clears throat> I've, I've got a gun in the right place. <laughs> Are you playing the card? I am playing okay. the card. Okay. Uh, you spot a ranged weapon useful to the action. Uh, this is a construction site. There is mm -hmm. a big looking nail gun right beside me. <laughs> it shoots... Brutally large headed nails, mm. and they're and I just learned this. They're uh, they're nails with a twist in them. So not mm. only they'll spin through the air much like a bullet. I think that's like an ar an aurox nail. It's uh, it's a type of nail that I've huh. learned about recently. This weapon adds plus one dice so long as it's useful and intact. It's very sturdy. Okay. Uh, if the GM is particularly pleased by your description, it adds plus two dice this round and plus one dice thereafter. I would like to hoist this gun this nail gun and go, oh, that's quite heavy. I guess it's very sturdy. I'd say like it's like connected to like a gas canister to really like shoot them out. And I'm going to point at one of these guys charging towards me and say, how has the closure of this yeast production facility affected your life? <laughs> <laughs> and then shoot a couple nails. <laughs> All right. So that sounds like a, uh, so with this nail gun, I'm going to get a, a gun skill with violence, I oh, think. Oh, good. Uh, how exciting. I don't have that at all. Um, you don't have to use a skill number if you definitely don't have 
the skill. If you do have the skill, you have to use it, even if it's bad. Okay, well, I don't have a gun skill. Um, I, I don't have a violent skill. Hmm. But I'm giving you plus two. Oh, that's true. All right, I'll just use my violent skill then. All right, so uh, but I get plus two. Two plus the computer die. Oh, how exciting! All right. Uh, well, that's nothing. I got a three, a two, and a five. That's, um, so you, I guess, lay down some cover fire. Unless there's someone who's being blown in front of you at this point. They might get hurt. I don't know. I'm just going to say some nails. I'm going to say like four or five nails. I really just spin through the air. Hmm. Uh, does anybody want to react to these nails spinning through the air? Toward people who might They're be like getting blown. They're like two inches long. I'm out of cards. <laughs> You're, how are you out of cards? Well, I only played the one card. Can I just play something else? Only if it's a reaction. Oh. <laughs> you can play all the reactions you like. Uh, if we're not reacting to this, if no one's reacting, no one's reacting, no one's reacting. God, that'd be really funny. Uh, well, yeah, for fun. All right, sure. Oh. I'm going to play as a reaction. Uh, everything looks like a nail. No. What? <laughs> really? <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> but this is a reaction. Uh, okay. So you spot a tool that's useful to the action. <laughs> describe it. GM has veto over your description, and that tool will add plus one dice so as long as it's useful and intact, which would, I guess, give us a dice to roll a potential success or failure to using it. Sure. And specifically, the action right now is she's shooting the nail gun, and you're getting blown in front of the nails. Uh -huh. That is the action that you're modifying. Yes. So I need a tool that's useful to the action. It could be another wind bot, but I don't know how to activate them. Uh, I need something to stop this. I mean, are you looking for suggestions? Actually, yeah, give me a suggestion. What else? What would also be there that could actually either stop or? Do oh, you know what? You know what they use on construction sites a lot of the time? Uh, they use they use magnets to pick up nails that have fallen onto the ground. So, um, in this particular construction site, uh -huh. they. They have a tool that does that. It's not a magnet, mm -hmm. but um, it does have a great big handle you could theoretically grab onto and swing yourself out of the way from oh, yeah. using their equivalent. That's good too, actually. So all I need is one success on a violence, probably athletics, unless you have some sort of gymnastics or pole dancing skill. <laughs> I would accept any of those. I couldn't use operate. Like, I couldn't grab a piece of equipment and operate. Operate is no. like driving a car. Yeah, flying. Or green's, you, green's you would use to operate me. to pick up nails. Ah. Yeah, no. But I wouldn't be doing that. I mean, I guess I, I would be if I was trying to if pick up If you want to them. use violence operate, you can try to get this thing to suck in the nails. Right? Yes. And then you'll still be blown through the air. Into some... Uh, but the, you know... Yeah. Succeed... That's that's at least that's plus one. That violence is zero and operate is plus one. Well, so, make your roll. Yeah, make your roll. So it's only one dice plus the computer plus die. The computer dice. <gasps> a five and a five. Nice, nice. Yeah, that sounds like a success to me. Excellent. So you're still blowing, but while you're going through, you're frantically pawing at this nail collector, Something's which collects the nails. And I don't know how this looks to you. You're like you're looking at the bad guy, and all of a sudden the nails get swept into the air, and you see him stealing your nails. And then he blows off. Oh, All right, so that was very right. cool. That was six. Oh. All right, five. Oh, that was five. Oh, that was five. Yeah. Oh, four. I'm acting on four. Okay, I'm yep. also acting on four. But uh, PCs go first. Oh my god. Um. So I'm gonna take a big bite of long pig. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, good. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh. So that would probably be. I'm giving you plus one. Remember. Okay, thank you. So that would be violence... And melee. Unless you have some other bite fellow human skill. Operate? <laughs> so operate is driving a car. <laughs> so no. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's minus five. Uh, so that's, that's negative three dice. Okay. I don't know how that works. Okay, so you're going to roll three dice, but... One through four is failure instead of just one being failure. Oh, okay. This is the roll that... Yeah, that and then you add your computer die to that. So you're rolling three dice plus the computer die. This can only be good. I can't wait to find out what Ian took. 
What's good? Six five and, and six. five. Five and six is good? Yeah. yeah. Everything else is bad. Oh, okay, great. I have uh, two success, two fail. Nice. So, I think um, your successes are that you're going to take this guy out. Excellent. What do you want the fails to be? I would like to try to not kill him, but kill him. <laughs> but the, my original intention was to try to, like, use the, the venom that I have to just knock him out. Right. Uh, I would like that to instead melt him. So, activating your venom costs you moxie. Absolutely. Okay. I will spend that moxie. Yes. All right. Uh, Does so he change any sort of interesting color? Uh, I would imagine he turns uh, the uh, that exact bright blue and ah. then melts into a horrible, horrible puddle as the venom courses through his veins and undoes everything that the cloning vet did. Okay. So, the other three are... Um, going to go next unless someone else is going on four because you've taken this guy out. Yep. Um, and they were coming towards sort of one of everybody and they're like, oh, did you see what that mutant did? Hey. <laughs> I mean, yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do they mean you or me? Uh, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nibbles is pretty much going like, yeah, take, oh no, oh no, oh no, like skidding across the floor after having taken that guy out. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> while you're skidding across the floor, oh, no. um, I'm going to be taking some swings at you. <laughs> I need, I think, um, violence floor skidding from you, please. Okay, great. Let's, uh, uh, let's see how you do against Let's go my... violence. Um, and it has to be something on this list, right? Or, I mean, if you have something on that list which applies, you have to use it. Okay. Uh... Is it athletics? Uh, I you... don't have athletics. All right. Yeah. Oh, I do have athletics. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. I have athletics. Floor skidding All can right. be athletic. Floor skidding can be athletic. If anybody has a reaction card to help me not die, that'd be great. Good. Oh. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna use a moxie. As you wish. Yes. Yes, How are you doing on that moxie. Huh? Great. Got one left. It's nice. great. Everything is good. Everything is fine. Oh, good. Excellent. Two successes, no failures. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so, um, that means that the regular fist attacks are doing nothing to you. Excellent. All we have to worry about is the saw. The saw. I thought I flew at the saw guy. Was it the oh, saw then guy? Then, yeah. Okay, so then it's the chain. Because there was a, a chain... Yeah, that, I mean, that seems better. Sure. Right? Right? Yeah, yeah that's yeah. better. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So be less range on the chain than a saw. Yeah. Right. It's like a blunt force trauma as opposed to an acute choppy one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm already but acute enough. You have enough. like those like tiny bones that get crushed easily though. Yeah. Right? No. It's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. uh, in Flexible. fact, yeah. I'm only going to do one point of damage to you with this chain. What does that take you to? Uh, maimed. <laughs> All right. So maimed oh, no, you healed, is. Didn't you? You went back up to hurt. Oh, okay. You, oh, but he doesn't have a hurt. Because yeah, he, he gave it up. Mutant, he, yes, he, indeed. He oh. gave up his hurt box in exchange for light bones, and I said yes. Yes, because of course. In I'm exchange for light bones for eventual flight, which won't matter. I mean, you kind of, kind of I'm flew. I did. Yeah. I did. You did actually take me for a flight. Yeah. For a fly. For a. Oh God. So, um, we have seen someone get maimed once before. It wasn't on camera, as it were, but um, that's why he has a mechanical hand. Maiming is some sort of permanent thing. Terrific. Yeah. Um, now, um, this big heavy metal chain is coming at you and maiming you, oh, very fragile boned one. Um, you may take over the description at any time that you like. I can't. I made a huge mistake and came up with this big backstory and pathos and everything for this character in my head. I can't hurt him right now. You have to do it. <laughs> All right. I, I, you know, because you're my friend, I will take this burden on for you. We met two hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, and what a great two hours of friendship it has been. It has been. Yes. And remember, I am giving you, you know, you can step in any time and stop my talking. I will keep that in mind. All right. So this chain comes around. It's got these huge metal links. Um, 
and it's it's safety chain so it has a thin uh, piece of plastic around every link um, so it comes in and it wraps around your leg and the good news <laughs> is that one of your legs is only broken and dislocated but unfortunately um, when the chain wraps around the other leg and gets pulled away I feel a chunk of leg goes with it. <laughs> and I suspect you are making some unfortunate sounds. Mm. Um, you mentioned earlier that you have recently learned to poop. Yes. So perhaps you are putting your new skill to, to use. Yes. Yes. Uh, also, you are bleeding profusely. Indeed. So seen from the top, a tiny dinosaur in a backpack is spinning, bleeding red and brown, just pinwheeling out over this former yeast facility. And there's a little bit of blue dinosaur leg wrapped in the chain. Mmm. Mmm. Guy's mm. like, I got the mutant! Hey. That was four, <laughs> uh, three, two, faint. You spot a situation that you can exploit to confuse an enemy. Describe what it is, then roll Hutzpah plus Bluff to take advantage. If you succeed, describe the actions of the, that enemy. The GM has veto over your description, so don't go crazy. So I'm going to roll a Chutzpah versus Bluff, which is zero. I'm oh, sorry, Chutzpah. Thank you. And that means I'll roll the computer die. That's a fail. That's a fail. Is it, well, two? Yeah, no, on a normal one and a two is a fail, correct? It's just yeah. one. Oh, or is it two, uh, one and two? Uh, if it's negative... It's, it's a zero. Oh, so that that's not a fail. It's oh, just nothing happens. Then great, nothing happens. Okay. Cool. I'm sorry you used your card. Me too. Okay. Are we allowed to use these cards at any time? If they're reaction cards. If they're reaction cards. So it's yes. a, if it has that little arrow on yes. it. Yes. Okay. Uh... So, earlier in the evening, I took uh, the stick out of my butt and we decided to let chaos reign. <laughs> everybody, everybody still on that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? I want to make sure that I have everybody's enthusiastic <laughs> consent before yep. I play You've this card. You've already lost a leg. I'm excited to see what you do. No, it's not. No, no. This How will not affect me. How disappointed will the audience be if at this point you decide, no, <laughs> we're not I want to make sure that I get everybody's consent because mm -hmm. consent is queen. If you would just take a look at that card and provide me your consent... Rad. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to do, but you know what? Let it ride. Is that... I want to make sure I, that that's okay. Can I use these cards next week if we all survive? Uh, you, if it's a reaction card, you can use it in reaction to this. Yes, I will use this as a reaction to that. So I have everybody's enthusiastic consent. Yeah, go for Fantastic. it. Fantastic. I am playing the card Colossal Snafu. Honestly, I'm kind of impressed how badly this turned out. Everything has gone wrong. <laughs> GM, pull out the thumb screws. Thank you. You're welcome. Ian, could I ask you a favor? Yes. Could you pull the pen out of that case? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, and you're reacting to this. Yeah, I have a reaction card I was going to use because it's like, oh, things look bad. I actually have great victory. Everything <laughs> goes right, above and beyond even the greatest expectations. For a few seconds at least, GM describes how. So maybe. Sweet. Awesome. Mm. Now right. who's sweating? Oh, I feel like I feel like yours trumps mine. You don't have to say that. Those are not words you need to say. Uh, necessarily. I don't think your cards contradict each other. No, I wouldn't because say. Because things went amazingly well, quote, for a few seconds at least. Mm -hmm. And yours was at the top of the stack. So let's deal with yours. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so um, I think that... Um, you have skidded into some construction and knocked over a vat of um, happy pain-free drugs <laughs> that just makes you feel so good. The pain is gone. Amazing. Th this is like you have three doses for an adult-sized human. You are not remotely an adult-sized human. 
you are overdosing on how happy and good you feel. I am. And speaking of knocking things over, there's just this Rube Goldberg esque that knocks this, which knocks that, which you know sends that thing rolling, which goes, and eventually all of the、uh, Gorilla Kite Enthusiast Club people are on the floor, unconscious. In the most phenomenally outrageous coincidence you have ever seen, and Kim just thinks this is great, and she's caught all of this on camera, and and she's excited. This is going to make for great footage. I think we've resolved Kathleen's card.、Oh. I forgot about Kim.、Mm-hmm. I oh, I didn't. That's why I. The, that's why I said, "What do you think about how the closure of the yeast production?" The, there's four of them. That counts. I've just, interviewed them. That, <laughs> <laughs> Kathleen, you and I were on exactly the same page when we pulled those cards.、Yeah. That's what I was waiting for. How do I get? How do I get this? My plan was to send Kim in. Oh. <laughs> so no, she is. You remember?、Um, I mentioned that things were knocked over and collapsing.、Mm-hmm. So、um, that is still true. Ah.、Oh. So.、Um, I'm speaking somewhat slowly because there is an opportunity to react、mm-hmm. before、um, I, I pull out a three-letter acronym. I want to use this, but I but it does say distinctly that somebody has to roll.、Mm-hmm. But you are already in the midst of doing something. Yeah, but you can react. Neat. Okay. <laughs> because so where where you're. We're, Where we're at is like it's basically construction site of this factory. This is a former factory, yeast production factory. Am I correct? I would say facility. It's a but, facility. But yeah, I mean they're they're just sort of growing lots of stuff that, to feed a whole bunch of nearby sectors, and it's cold. Okay. It's cold, cold, cold. They're still using this to grow stuff. No. Okay. So, but this, they haven't cleared all of the stuff out yet. So、okay. there are still bits of equipment around. So. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. Okay. What I want to have happen by using this card, you'll have to tell me whether I can do this or not. Okay. So slightly worse than expected. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, can I? You can. All right. Bring it. Slightly worse than expected.、Um, I get tossed into the air. Obviously, I've been tossed in the air already. The the wind is is blowing me around. But my jumpsuit is, you know, it's getting blown around. Everything's happening. Those. Yellow biohazard stickers、mm-hmm. that I stuck inside my body、mm-hmm. are now flying out and are flying all over the facility and landing on the ground in whatever places. Okay. Which would then kind of just they're they're not stuck to things yet, but they are biohazard markers that are just kind of like this is a yellow marked biohazard site that we are all now in, in, in trespassing upon. Mm-hmm. So that's slightly worse than expected. Okay. So that happened,、mm-hmm. and now I'm going to carry on with the colossal snap. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right.、Oh, good. So、um, Kim is sort of at the back because she is filming all of this, and as there is so much action going on, she's giving everybody、um, a little bit of. A close-up. So she zoomed in on these four terrorists, and who are lying in pools of their own blood, and、um, you know she's got some little happy music. You know the troubleshooters save the day, and then she zooms over to you, and you just look so happy. Are you making like happy little sounds? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Ah, <laughs> it tasted so good. Yeah, and then a <clears throat> great big concrete mixing ball falls on top of you.、Ah! Now the good news is that it only does one point of damage. <laughs> <laughs> What's the bad news, Jacob? <laughs> I don't have any bad news to add to that. I'm just giving him good news that he has taken only one point of damage. I have taken only that one point of damage, <laughs> and I have passed away. <laughs> What was your last point of damage? That was my last point of damage, but I got everything I wanted <laughs> this evening, but not in the way that I wanted it at all. You've played with Dale then. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Thank、Welcome、you, Kathleen. <laughs> all right. So.、Um, 
<laughs> we're significantly over time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let each of the three of you describe how you die. Cool. Um, in this construction site, and then we will start next week with shiny brand new clones. All right. Because mm -hmm. you're going to be fine. And this way you get to describe your death scene. Who wants to go? F well, let's just start here and go around. Sure. So the stickers go all flying off willy nilly. We're like covering this this area, which is now technically a yellow bio, uh, biohazard zone. It's biologically contaminated, uh, and I get I get slammed by the um, the the wind into one of the vertical pillars. But I'm about eighteen meters in the air by this point, and I'm upside down, and I basically slide down and thunk and fall over and thunk and fall over and thunk and fall over and hit a few girders on the way down of this space until I collapse in a heap at, heap at the bottom of something that is kind of like weird winged blue pudding. Mm. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a strange mass. All right, so then Kim <coughs> shifts the camera. So at this point, I am feeling the need to get myself involved in the melee to protect or avenge my, my fellow troubleshooters. And so I decide to activate my brand new pinky. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! As I run towards these uh, th these terrorists. Yes. Activate my pinky without realizing that other damage had been done to my hand Ooh. during the uh, the severing process, leaving that obnoxious effluvia that uh, that gas, as we were, which turns out to be rather flammable, <laughs> leaking out around my hand area, and I don't, you know, this is a bad, uh, this is a faulty switchblade. So activating, yes, it, it, it leads out a spark, mm. lighting my hand, and then the rest of my very flammable jumpsuit. <laughs> the rest of so, you know, Kim focuses on me, and then the, uh, I run out of frame, and as you see, through the rest of the episode, this flaming figure running <laughs> from frame shot to shot <laughs> until it finally gets slower and just falls down. Uh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Kathleen, have a death scene. Oh, uh, I feel like I see this happen and start to, you know, see things <clears throat> collapse and just go, uh-oh. Uh, and attempt to make a run for it and, and immediately and sort of unceremoniously crushed by like a piece of masonry from above and explode with a lot more force than you would think on account of all the explosives that I grabbed earlier. <laughs> so it's just like a chunk of rock falls down and then boom, everything goes black including Kim. The first three episode of the year. <laughs> <laughs> I think Kim's uh, fading thought is we might have to cut this footage a few <laughs> seconds earlier. <laughs> nice. Oh. All right. Uh, thank you for here. thank you for joining us on Dice Friends. Um, this stream and everything else that we do is brought to you by you uh, on Patreon at patreon.com slash loading ready run or by uh, becoming a member. Uh, here on YouTube. So thanks again, and we will see you next week for episode two of Trouble in Paradise.